All right. Good morning, everyone. Rise and shine. Hope you're ready for day two of CEO. My name is King Jobber, joined by Rome himself, and we are going to be your guides through some good King of Fighters action this morning at CEO. How you doing? Yo, I'm doing great, Jobber. Good to be here, man, working with you. And yes, like you mentioned it, folks, we got some more KOF action coming up. Yesterday, the pools were a bloodbath, and we have one more pool left to determine our top 48 Jobber, man, how you been enjoying yourself so far? I have been enjoying CEO so much, whether it's been watching Guilty Gear Strive, watching some King of Fighters. Like you said, it was an absolute bloodbath yesterday, brutal, right? Brutal, brutal. These pools were insane. People were just drowning left and right. But again, we're going to determine our final pool here to move forward. And of course, top eight is going to be tonight. So make sure to check that out later on on the CEO stream. But right here on TNS, we're going to jump into our pools coming up. We got our next players coming up. Who's it going to be? Oh, yeah, we got He Homeboy. I love the name already going up against pay pay kick pay kick i like it these are some cool names these are some uh some names you see in a twitch chat you know what i'm saying <laughs> so hopefully they can throw it down homeboy i'm looking at you man uh you know it is early morning too guys it is 10 in the morning you got to get up you got to put it on man i know some people you know they like to sleep in you know party hard a little bit on oh, a friday yeah. night but you got to be ready to throw down and i want to see some kof baby not me, though. I was in bed at 11 o'clock. I'm like, I got 10 a.m. commentary. I'm going to sleep like an old man. Jobber is very responsible, whereas Rome himself is like, oh, it's three. I guess I can get two hours. Yeah, hold, I'll on, be, hold I'll, on. I'll be fine. That's why the shades are here, folks. They are hiding the pain <laughs> and sorrow. But you know what? I'm still hyped, man. I just can't believe this is happening. k 15 has been such a joy uh, for the past five months. The game has been out. Uh, we recently had a balance patch, you know, um, and and seeing the new characters rise up to the top, you know, it's been good. It's been really interesting. Yeah, the game is in a really healthy spot right now, balance-wise. Like, you're even seeing characters of the likes of Whip showing up, too. Yeah. Honestly, people thought she was the worst character in the game, but now you're seeing those specialists come out and really show off how strong she can be. And, of course, we also just got the announcement of Team Cooler Orochi, Ooh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Orochi Team coming in hot in August. I can't wait. Actually, I can't wait. I'm not trying to deal with the Rochi Chris. That kid is a pain. Hopefully he is uh, Billy Kane's here. But you know what? We'll worry about that when we get there. Let's see. These players are setting up their buttons. You got to make sure you got the win button on. Oh, and uh, let's see what they're going to select. Oh, yeah. I like the choices already. Cooler right <laughs> off the bat. All right. And Blue Mary. We got some good character variety here. Yeah. Shermy as well. Jeremy S. Mi esposa. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, yeah, I like this team. Okay, two interesting teams here. Um, Kula Diamond Kill and Leona going up against Blue Mary, Shermie Robert. Interesting seeing the orders uh, for these teams. Yes, so player two's order is, uh, that's expected. That is a great order for that team. Pretty much optimal, right? I mean, Blue Mary can be run at any point, but on that team that you have right there, Anchor Blue Mary can be a menace with leader. Oh, yeah, you watch the jumps, man. You get hit by a 3D and that's it. Yep. But here we go, Kula versus Roberto on point. And Kula is an interesting character after the patch. Another character that people thought was pretty weak beforehand, but now she's kind of running wild. You see her yeah. so much more often, especially in top eights and a lot of tournaments. Absolutely. All across the world, too, not just in America. Kula Diamond, her buttons can get it done. And I knew it was going to happen. SNK loves this character. No, they weren't going to let her be that for too long. But here we go on the stage in the Coliseum. Very appropriate. CEO 2022. KOF begins. Oh, starting off with a nice cross up there. Just a little too high to be able to get the pickup. So one thing you're seeing already is that Kula is going to be playing that anti-fireball game. We know that Robert really likes to sit back and kind of throw out those fireballs, but Kula can neutralize it with her own ice. Absolutely. Right now, trying to get in, missing the jump. Okay, good stagger pressure. I like it. Yeah, and you have to get in the fireball pressure early at the end of your strings before your opponent gets the meter to be able to guard cancel it. Ooh, going to press the buttons. Did not complete the combo there, but the pressure is on. Robert whittling down that guard gauge. Try to bait a DP. Oh, no, okay. messed up the jump in there. Again, it's a little too high to get the confirm on that jump in. Okay, this is good spacing right here. Keeping the fireball out. Oh, the race spin out the corner. Bust out. But you know what? A bust out EXDP. Yeah, you got to let them know early, right? Make them respect your wake up. Absolutely. Oh, that's a punish if I've ever seen one in the first solid combo in this first round. Yeah, goes for the overhead mix up there. A little messy. There's the counter hit sweep. Not trying to escape the corner, though. You see that Payek is backing up, trying to yep. force Homeboy to overextend. Oh. Homeboy trying to catch a button. There it is right there. Neutral jump D. Such a really strong button from Robert. Yeah, especially when you notice that Kula is constantly trying to escape the corner with that Tatsu. Going for that neutral jump to hit her on the way down, really smart. But now here comes in Kyo with nearly four bars on deck, and this character can hurt. Oh, absolutely. Doesn't need much to do it as well. Missing the combo right there, too high up. Oh, I liked it. Knew he was going to press a button, had that EXDP on lock. Yeah, your turn, my turn. 
Oh, what do you mean your turn? Nice. Always. There we go. Nice hop CD. Getting that corner control again. Tried to bait out a DP. This is the second time. Homeboy content on just blocking, though. Yeah, I love the way that Peg is backing up uh, whenever he gets a knockdown in the corner. He always goes for that back dash. It covers not only the DP, but if they try to roll forward to escape. Yep. And right now, Robert playing with house money, winding down that clock. Already took out a character. Looking to potentially do some more damage, and the, the problem is stopped. Homeboy had to put the pressure on. Get him out of here. Yeah, finally, that 2C trade going to be in Homeboy's favor here, bringing in the Sherman with a lot of meter of her own. Homeboy was able to close that out without spending any meter either against Robert, so that's going to pay off here with that level one. Yes, into sir. The climax. Ooh, we cash and cash and Okay. You know yep. what? Shermie's just a pretty girl. Spend all the money on her. <laughs> I agree. Give her the Elden Ring. You know. <laughs> we got the setup right now. What's going on? Oh, goes for the fake overhead there. Empty into low. Ooh. And you know, this is still a... And, and Shermie's, like, meter game, this is still pretty much a very close game. She can get hit one hit, and that's it. Oh, absolutely. This is definitely a one-touch kill range when you have four bars on deck. Absolutely. Let's see what happens, though. It is... Ooh, nice 2C. That button got a lot better in this recent patch. Whipping the jumping CD, trying to establish this pressure. You need to look out for the command throw. Woo, there it is. Yeah, one well-placed sweep, and Homeboy is on the cusp of taking this first game here. Yeah, he's making his comeback, but he's got to deal with a five-bar red Mary. Because <laughs> he's very red. Let's see. You better watch your toes, because you know Blue Mary's going to be looking for that slide. All day. You have to block so much from her, man. Just two command throws, a DP, a command low. She's got it all. Exactly. She she is a jack of all trades. Kind of a master of all of them, too, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. I would agree. There's something about Mary. But let's see what we got. Can't get a complete open. Oh, okay. DP. Gonna push all the way to the corner here. Ooh. Oh, Speedball puts yourself in the corner. Really unfortunate position there. But actually, Homeboy's going to back up and create a little bit of space. Yeah, I agree. You know, he's up a character. He can kind of force Mary to, to you know, try to run face first in. But, ooh. Oh, no. Follow up on the trade combo right there. A <laughs> little bit of a scramble, but Pay Kick does take that one. And we are down to our anchors in the very first match here at CEO Day 2. Leona versus Blue Mary. This is looking very KOF 14 right now. Both these characters are extremely strong. What a wild B slash super. And just letting letting all these EX moves rip. When you have the cash to work with, that's what makes Blue Mary scary. It's all of her EX moves. Ooh, <laughs> caught him pressing buttons. Yeah, that's stun gun. Got a guard cancel roll to deal with that one. All right, nice throw. Throws forward, though, and jumps right into another DP. Homeboy is falling for all these DPs from Payek. Okay, we got it. Oh, that was such a smart answer right there. No finish on the combo. No, probably okay, going to be it. Yeah. Yep. Take her to Suplex City and take game one here for Homeboy. I really like that uh, interaction at the end, though. Using the EX slide to blow up the EX airing. Uh, just not even wanting to deal with it. A lot of players freeze up once Leona throws that, and they're like, oh, should I jump? What should I do? And then by the time they realize what they should do, it's over. Like, they, yeah. they get hit by it. So, But answering with that slide was absolutely perfect, too, because, you know, it goes in that upwards arc, so you can just get right underneath it and get a huge combo. Unfortunately, they had that little drop, but they were able to bring it back with the command grab. Yep, yep. Round one. Homeboy is feeling ready to go. Back at it. No team switches or anything. Nice bait on the DP. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Got the far C and not the close C, so it's slow enough. Oh, got a close C there. Not able to get a confirm off of it, though. No punish on the top two. It actually went right over her head. Ooh. No, thought he had to confirm. You got to. Yeah, here we go. Getting some damage on the board here. One thing I'm noticing about a pay a kick is they really like their EX moves. Oh, yeah, they are yeah. not afraid to spend that cash. <laughs> he looks down at his bar every time. He's like, oh, I got? Okay, we spend them. Yo, EX Tatsu? Yeah. That's my favorite move. Are you kidding me? Ooh, that was almost a really big jump and not deep enough. Nice anti air 2C. Again, like you just mentioned, Jobber, letting it rip. Yeah, that EX DP coming out, throwing out these standing Ds as well. There's the dive kick to get some pressure going. Oh, I like it. Mixing up the air, you know, the air pressure, the air approach with the uh, dive kicks and the jump Ds. The pressure is on, though. This is looking good. Nice stand B. Oh, look at that guard gauge. Exactly. Homeboy needed to get out of the corner Ooh, there. Oh, yeah. One too many DPs. Not an optimal punish, unfortunately. No, really unfortunate. Could have 100% killed there with an EX move into something else. Absolutely. Again, it is early in the morning, you know. Very early, some of these players, you know, still got to get their the warm ups in. This might be the warm up, you know. They still got the crust in their eyes. Oh, you already know. <laughs> Didn't wipe the eyes or anything. <laughs> yeah. 
for a bar kill. Okay, that could have been something there, but you know what? We'll take the damage. Ooh, the soul bad guy stand S. Love to see it. There we go. That's going to be full health Kyo coming in, so we're pretty much tied up now. Homeboy rocking maximum resources here. Kind of the opposite of Payakek. Doesn't want to spend their meter. <laughs> it's very much a contrast in the style of the players. Let's see if Shermie can do, though. She didn't get a chance to play at all last time. Are we going to spend it again? Climax? No. Just one bar. Oh, that's a bait. Climax here. Yeah. All right. Shouldn't be enough to kill, though, but, you know, I'm usually wrong about these things, so we'll see. Uh, I think not. No, no, it's not. This is, like, the weak, one of the weakest climaxes in the game as far as damage. Oh, trying to go for the overhead there. Just a little too far away, though, but a crouching C going to trade with a jump in, and we are down to the final character for pay -a kick. Yep, back down to the Blue Mary. Three bars, sitting nice. Got to watch the ankles. You know a slide is coming. Oh, missing a spinfall. Okay. Oh, I try to hop in again, but that 2C can answer this time. Empty into nothing, just Woo! staring right at her. Wow, kills uh, 3D. Okay, good combo here. Gonna spend it? I agree. Yeah, last character, you might as well spend all the resources. Yeah, not only that, you're gonna get a really good corner push with that super as well, but Paykick doesn't care, just fighting their way out of the corner, and no punish there on the stun gun. Both players just at each other's grill, being super patient. Nice wake up BP right there, as soon as I say that, of course. They bust out. Nice jump D. Oh, wow. Missed time to meaty. Okay, we got a maximal combo. Make this a dead KO. You have to make yep. it count. You gotta oh. no. Definitely going for super there. Missed the input. Yeah, instead they got the sway for the German suplex, but it's all right. They still have the pressure in the corner. One well placed 3D though into a confirmed level one. Not quite enough to kill. Oh, too far again for the overhead, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Homeboy bringing that one back. We take those. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so 1-1 one, one here now. I Part of me feels like that was a really big brain move to run up and whiff the overhead at DP range so that they see a button come out and they go, okay, DP. <laughs> you know what? You're absolutely right. What a genius his homeboy. He knew. He was like, I know you're going to wake up DP. I'm going to give you something to want to want to hit. I like to give the hit. players the benefit of the doubt, you know? <laughs> absolutely. I agree. Big brain plays on display, folks. Here we go. We are 1-1. One, one. These players are fighting for position to advance further into this bracket. No one wants to get sent to losers this game. Oh, no. Absolutely not. There's a nice meaty fireball as well. Backing up to create that space. Nice. Interesting uh, use for the D race man as an anti air. Again, yeah, this Robert was really turning up the heat last round with the pressure. Got Kula in the corner. Nice comp. Oh, no. Definitely wanted Tatsu there in that situation. Yeah, it's pretty much a rerun of what we've seen before, right? Robert pushes Kula to the corner, and Kula is just trying to figure out how to escape as her guard gauge just slowly goes down. And there's the there guard break is. finally, but not a big enough confirm off of it. Yeah, no capitalization from Pig Kick, unfortunately, but still has the pressure on. So we could potentially see another guard break in this game. Oh, a dive kick really low there. Ooh. Jumps right into the EXDP. We're back to mid screen now. Oh, both players trying to bait each other. Nice whip on the sweep. Rolling through the fireball with the sweep as well. Yep. Oh, wow. That was so good. But lands and immediately goes into the EXDP, right? And here we go. This yeah. corner pressure yet again. Nice roll through the fireball, but doesn't go for any kind of a punish afterwards. Good throw. Stand too close to me. And oh my god, almost the right time to jump. Oh my god, that was again a very scary jump. Eight seconds on the clock, folks. Who's going to take this first round? It is coming down to the nitty gritty. Both players are trading. Kula's going to have to act. It is almost over three bars and a meaty fireball. Unfortunately here, Robert's not going to gain pretty much any health back. So it's going to be a pretty easy mop up here for Kyo. Just needs one confirm. Doesn't even need a super, right? Just really needs an EX confirm at this point. Absolutely. And what makes it even more intimidating is he homeboy's character has been killed. Kyo's been the one definitely putting the team on the back as we saw the reverse OCB last game. Let's see if it happens again. Yeah, we're starting to see an adjustment from Homeboy as well, going for these roll-throughs on the fireballs, trying to catch Pei overextending here. Ooh, I like the idea of the EX right here. It's not ready. Okay, this is going to be good. EX super? I agree. Yep. EX oh. Orochi Nagi. Nice the level Nagi. two. Actually, just wants to make sure. Uh, you know what? I understand that. You don't want to leave any room for doubt, right? Just spend the cash. You don't need no random robber jump B comeback. Get him out of here. And there we go. Shermie's first command grab here of the day. Mm-hmm. Oh, try to go for another one. A little cheeky there. Good trip. Oh, that could have been big. Shermy is loaded, man. I'm always afraid. When I see Shermy with ball. Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, too early. Caught him on the way down, not when he landed. Yeah, unfortunate. Was able to get that overhead, but we didn't see a max cancel. 
Okay, yeah, those, yo, hard buttons in the air, hop CD, jump B, super strong, super oppressive buttons. They're obnoxious to deal with. Ooh. There we go, just throwing out command grab after command grab. There's the overhead, and just run up standing C there. I like it. Pay kick realized that homeboy didn't have an option for any of that. Just started to go in at the end. Like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to wait for you. I'm not going to bait a DP. I'm just going to go in and take my turn. Yeah, and this is set point now here for pay kick. Okay. Oh. I like it. Let's see what the setup is. What is he going? Cross up low. Oh, stayed in front. I actually like that staying in front because you're always going to expect them to leave the corner, right? Absolutely. So it worked out there. They were not able to get quite a confirm, and now they're still in the corner. Okay. Oh, gets the overhead. Yeah, that overhead's still hard to block. We got a raw max. Oh, he is looking for the kill. And it's a lot of meter. If Shermie can get one command throw. I like the patience though from homeboy. Yep, gonna wait it out. Burn that meter. Oh no! Level Corner off the air. air! Oh my god, a level three right off the bat here. Whispering sweet nothings into her air before breaking her back, iron cheek style. God, I wish that was me. Oh, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, Ooh. another command grab here. We're getting dangerously close to the end oh, of this game. Oh, the cross-up jump C. Didn't Shot finish. Down. All right, Charmy's out of here. Leona has one more chance left to live. This is the final round here. Final round. This is it, folks. Homeboy's going to have to dig in deep. He's got a bar. Oh, my God. That could have been so scary. All right, oh. yeah, just trying to jump back and throw out these fireballs here. Yeah, it has to be very careful, though, with the X-Slash in the air, because you just know that Pay Kick is going to look to punish that next time. Oh, and there's the DP coming out as well. Oh, no! It's no early. punish! Trying to catch a, some type of movement, but... Yeah, that's the ready. second time Homeboy's actually gone for that, and it's whiff. Yeah. Here we go. Jump in. Oh, tries to go for the command grab, but jumps out of it. And there's the slide back into the corner, and Homeboy just trying to play oh, this runaway this... game, but gets caught trying to put out the earring. And that is our first oh, game of winner. the day right here at here. CEO. Both games that he lost winner. was due to air. <laughs> the first round he lost to trying to do EX airing, got EX lit on, and that one just trying to go for regular airing and just too much startup, man. Too yeah, much. You exactly. got to watch your spacing on it. Too much startup, especially against Blue Mary, who can just cover the screen oh, yeah. in a flash, right? Just sliding in your DMs just instantly, <laughs> just like that. But that was the first game, folks. Hope that was your coffee, your shot of energy, because we got a whole lot of action coming up today, y'all. And we're about to have some Clark Still action coming up here with Movado versus Nothing XS. Of course, Ooh. Nothing XS, also a KOF commentator as well, showing up on stage to prove that, yeah, commentators can play the game too. Oh, absolutely, man. As you see, he's got the fit on there. I'm loving to see it. We are Clark and Julius were always command grabbing each other when we see each other. Yeah. Except we just go through each other because we both have guard points. So we just, true, true. You know, we both go through. But yeah, good to see nothing here. Um, you know, he, he's going to be commentating later, later, as a matter of fact. Uh, so yeah. But his opponent, Movado, I'm feeling that hairstyle. I like that. That's yeah, nice. with a purple? Mm, Looking yeah, clean. Yeah. Very nice colors out here. Bright colors for the brightness that is Daytona. But uh, let's see who they play. Nothing also uses, I know they play Clark. Uh, I don't know why Leona comes to not Leona. I believe uh, Mai. Mai, that's yeah. Mai comes to mind. Yes. You you know something that just popped in my head too. People are complaining about Clark on Twitter because you know he's kind of a menace, but he we love him. We love uh, him. Just wait till uh, Orochi uh, Orochi Yashiro. You Jobber. guys you guys don't like grapplers grapplers. Oh wait till Orochi Yashiro. God. I've been I've been telling these people <laughs> since '98. Do not let that kid end the game. Keep him out. <laughs> Keep kids out of the game. But they added him in. Yeah, he's so back now. There it is. Yeah. Look, I love this too, the button check in the character select. We're in 2022, right? We don't need to go into the game for button checks. <laughs> I'm still old school, man. I still do it. I don't know why. It's just, I guess it's just natural, even though obviously, yeah, like you said, the button check is right there. You can do it, but uh, yeah, make sure you guys got your buttons all set. Nothing taking, taking, taking the, off the, the lanyard. lanyard. Yeah, he's trying to, you know, you gotta, you gotta loosen up, man. You can't have it too tight. You gotta let the brain juices flow, you know? Don't oh, cut the circulation. Oh, zipping up the jacket though. Here we oh. go. Got to get prepared, get in the mindset of a Clark player. That's what you got to do. Right now, he's Kralk. He's not exactly Clark <laughs> yet. He's Kralk right now. Once oh. the command throws start moving, then we'll see. Wow, look at this team. Kukri, Shune, Rock. That's that is a... 
that's, abstract. That's the most protagonist team I've ever. Like, that's the team on paper. I feel like SNK wants to make the hero team, right? Because <laughs> right. Shune and Kukri are the rivals of this series. And then you have Rock Howard, who's good now, who's like, he's still kind of like one of the, the favorite boys, right? So. That is a very, um, very much pro tag team. And on nothing side, we're actually not going to get the mine. Instead, we're going to get Iori Clock and Yashiro playing yeah. it in the order too with Yashiro on point. I like that a lot. Yashiro is a scary point. This, this man is so plus on everything and does not even need meter to carry you all the way to the corner. Absolutely. I know a lot of people like to run him on anchor just for his easy confirms, but I do 100% agree with you. I think he can be super annoying, especially with the jump C cross up mm -hmm. on point. If you don't have resources to get out of there to guard cancer roll or shatter strike, it's done -zo. Yeah, and he's also just really good at bullying other characters who don't have meter, right? That's a big thing as well. And of course, we know Iori on anchor, classic. Iori is good at any position, and putting him on anchor, allowing him to cash out on that meter is incredibly smart. Yeah, nothing has been playing this game for decades, right? And most KOF players that have been, they're all Iori mains, so they're happy to see their boy eating in this current version of the game. They're happy to use him again. Here we go, jumping into round one. Immediately, Mavado backing up. That might be a mistake, though. Nothing rushing right in. Already has him in the corner. Yeah, look at the guard gauge already. It's only been five, uh, six seconds at the time. There's the chase down yep. yet again. That jumping C so strong. The pressure is on. Joshua able to link, like, two light normals into the heavies. Like, it's crazy. And that's a sign of a really solid character, right? Being able to go light into heavy like that and get those confirms. Absolutely. Wow, that crossed up. Nothing, Jabber. I can't believe that. Oh, here we go. EX rapid punches. Oh, we reset there. I knew it. He didn't know. I mean, he, he knew that that combo wasn't going to kill, so I agree going for the reset. All right, back to mid screen here. Not looking too good for Movado, though. Nice teleport into a close C. Going to get a nice big confirm corner carry as well. Very good. Spending all the re Oh, wow. He gets that. I didn't even know that. I didn't have no idea. Like, uh, the pillar OTGs. That might be one of the newer changes. Yeah, but that was actually a perfect response, too, from nothing to wake up EX Uppercut, because even if they blocked it, you're going to chip them out, no matter Absolutely, what. Absolutely, yeah. Very appropriate. Here comes the Golden Boy, Rock Howard. Oh, God, that was just a hammer. You're just dropping it on your dome. We're going to see another reset here. No, goes for the hard knockdown instead. Overhead mix up. Man, yeah, this pressure is on. Yeah, he, Movado's having some issues here. Like we mentioned, Yashiro on point, he could just do this, right? Not a care in the world. He could just go ham. All right, there's that jumping CD, though, pushing back. Oh, Run up to C. Anti air, the call out. And he's another call out. Caught the back roll. Okay, nothing. I see what it is. Yeah, just calling out everything right now here. Absolutely smothering Movado, and now it's all up to Shune. All up to the man who's on the front cover of the game to do this. If anyone's got the anime pro tag powers, he's not looking like Shune right now. <laughs> he's going to have to roll up that other sleeve down there. <laughs> Word, that's the power up. I'm doing this for my friends. And he just rolls up the pan leg. He's got three bar. Oh, okay. Has the pressure started here. All right. <laughs> that yeah. EX guard point is so good. It's super fast and has guard point because he needs it. Oh, there we go. Break dancing on him as well. Trying to chase into the air with that jumping CD pushed into the other corner. Oh, this is okay. This pressure's on. This is going to be hard. Movado just trying to fight for anything, but this is looking rough. And an EX rush punch to chip him out. Nothing with the game one OCP. That is a checkmate situation there as well, right? The moment that you have to block that and you don't have any room to jump out, it's done. It's done. And, and it's always a mental thing, too, because, like, he wins that round, right? Let's say it's like, oh, man, I still got to fight two characters, and I have, like, 20% health. Hey, Clark is still there waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> you just see Clark just smiling, just hands out, just smiling in the background. Movado looking, hopefully, to uh, change up, you know, something, change up their style. Couldn't really get started at all. This Yashiro just so oppressive, just end there. Trying to fight back here, though. But this is where Kuka kind of struggles is against characters that are really good at rushing you down, and Yashiro is one of the best. Yeah, absolutely. And these two right here, you know, it's interesting. Both these characters were big winners and big losers of the recent patch, right? Yes. Some people think Kukri was over nerfed. I wouldn't say over nerfed, but he definitely got significantly weaker while Yashiro just rolls up the ranks easily. For sure. I mean, Kukri, a lot of people were saying, was like a sleeper top tier in the last patch in the right hands. But look at this. Just in a block string, you're pushed from one corner to the other. There's the guard break. Not a big confirm off of it, but that's all right. We get the kill anyway. That is a healthy, healthy Yashiro. Only about 150. Wow. Nothing's jumpings are really, really good. I love it. He is finding the appropriate time. We got a combo. 
We have pressure as well here in the corner. I like that 2B to check. To check nothing there, but nothing able to get the jump over. Here we go. EX uppercut. Oh, misses the reset though. Yeah, misses it. Doesn't matter, you know what? He said, let me try that one more time. Missed it again. EX Rising Tackle, very good. Get off of me, you gorilla. Yes, nice 2C. Gotta fight back. Yamavato yeah, slowly starting to learn how to play this matchup here. Another EX Rising Tackle. Oh, <laughs> what? He said, get that fireball out of here. I was so scared. I was like, what if he punched it back? Like, Yashiro would be the type to just punch a fireball back, but oh my god, here's the character, here's the boy. Kralk is in here, the king himself here. Ooh, just threw him right out of that. Interesting, though. Yeah, in this game, uh, regular throws beat command throws. So. Yes, absolutely. And there's the rolling death cradle, toss you all the way to the corner. And the thing about Rock, um, excuse me, about Clark is he is one of the heaviest snowball characters in the game. Once he gets going, it is hard to stop. Oh, absolutely. He is, everyone is scared. That is the thing with Clark. People see Clark and they, they freeze. They just get so scared. They're like, ah, ah, I don't know what to do. And then by the time they already thought what to do, they're already in the air and getting it back. Boom. Because he's not just one of the best grapplers in the game, and that's scary too. He can brawl really well. That, two, that 2D is such a good button in neutral. One of the better sweeps in the game. It, it's hit so fast. Shune looking to try to combat that. Oh boy. This is scary. We're going back to the corner. Huh, huh. And then Death Cradle all the way back. You thought you were going to escape? Nah, son. Just runs in with a close C as well. Ooh. bar Shune. Let's make something happen here. Oh, too early. Actually could have got off through punish. That's plus. Oh, you cannot mix. press after that. There's the jump and tries Ooh. to catch him yet again. I don't blame him. He was just trying to run. He's like, get me out of here. I don't want to be here. Mom, mom, please. Yeah, Mavado unfortunately up. looking a little lost here now, just trying to stay off the ground and not get command Ooh. throw. This is good. This is good. Clean it up. Nice DP. Spend the meter. Get rid I of him. I agree. Yes. I like it. I like it a lot. Advance canceling from level one to level two. Get that man out of here. Yeah, it's going to be an uphill battle. Climb still gets a full health Eori with a lot of resources coming in, but this is doable. You just have to win a few more interactions. Just a few, but you can't take trades like that because every trade is in nothing's favor. And you see nothing is going to sit back there, content to throw fireballs, oh, trying no. to force shooting Ooh. to overextend. She got caught by the second part. You know what? It doesn't even matter. Nothing taking that one. Eori wins over Shune. And uh, yeah, nothing looking clean, man. Looking dangerous. I hate to see who's on the other side. Oh, there he is, of course. Oh, so gotta love it. Ooh, the tip of the hat, too. Said much obliged. <laughs> Had to let him know. So yeah, you folks will see nothing later on on the mic, but as well in bracket. You know, if he keeps playing the way he plays, he's uh, as you can see, he's out for business. He's out to to put some, uh, you know. Put the beating on some folks, man. Absolutely. Give him some command grabs, some Argentinian backbreakers, mm -hmm. a little bit of haze, right? <laughs> a little bit of that. But yeah, very good stuff. Next coming up, though, we're going to have Light KV going up against Ivory Man. This should be good to see. I'm not too familiar with both of these players, but it's always exciting to see names that I don't recognize coming up. Absolutely. So Light KV, I recognize the name. I've seen them and results for some like online brackets. Mm -hmm. Not sure who they play, but um, you know, like you mentioned, it's always cool to see interesting names, new players coming up, uh, even players you aren't familiar with, because you always get a treat, you know? Sometimes yeah, absolutely. Like, oh, wow. You know, it could be a hidden killer, you know, someone who may be off the radar, but they come out to a major and they just cook everybody. Right? Yeah, I was just so. talking yesterday with Yipes on stream, too, about how this is also like your moment to show yourself, right? You get to go on stream in your pools. That's mm -hmm. when you go, all right, I need to put on a show, make myself known, and make sure that people know, like, I am a prominent player and I am ready to rise up. Absolutely. Oh, we got the lanyard backwards, too. That's the tech to make sure that it doesn't interfere with the button press. That is the tech. You are absolutely right. But well, my man, Ivory Man, is... Oh, he got oh, the backwards hack uh -oh. tech. Oh, uh -oh. he said, you want tech? I'll show you tech. <laughs> Hold up. That means serious business here now. Ash Ketchum style, ready to catch this Pokemon that is Light KV. Man. You know, that, that DK shirt's kind of fire, too. Not going to lie. I, I was peeping it, too. I was like, yo, the, the drip. I, I thought I was looking nice today. But clearly, <laughs> this guy came to play and to win, so... Here we go, getting our button presses in, set up. Oh, look at that, removing all of the double boxes. I don't need those. I pressed the two buttons together. I, I'm with it. I'm an arcade style player, so I, I don't need all that extra stuff. I know some people that play with macros, and I'm like, how? I'm too wild. My hands go all over the place. Yeah, I'll I can't do it either. Whoa, hold up, Whoa. Maximo. Hold up. 
Everyone take a step. Maxima, Antonov. And Antonov. Okay. And Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Yo, Jobber. Okay. All right, I'm biased. I'm biased. <laughs> Listen, chat is about to get real biased up in here, folks. Light KV running Yori, Luong, and K-Dash. Not a bad team. Man, that is an interesting order. Antonov point. Yes. Um, okay. Antonov is almost exclusively an anchor because he kind of requires meter to work. You would think you would see Antonov a dinosaur swap because dinosaur is a much stronger point right. in this team composition. Dinosaur can he can frustrate your opponent enough where he doesn't need the bar. It's just you know simple like grappler stuff, right? But this is very interesting. But again, like you mentioned, Jobber, this is your time to shine. Maybe we don't know. This guy could be he could be like the next genius. He could be the CEO <laughs> 2022 champion. I see some crazy Maxima tech on Twitter to be honest though. So that is true. We'll see if we get to see any of that here. But Antonov, point. That is, he was the king of fighters, right? He was, yeah. <laughs> Still got the new belt, you know. But here we go. Let's see if it's enough for Scarface Iori. Got some fireballs. Take it to the training stage here. He said, I want to see all the frames, all the buttons. Yeah, and like KV, playing this really well, very patiently, because Antonov absolutely does dump out damage. So you need to be very patient against this character. Right now, we got some Iori tings. I like it. Yep, this is Iori 101. That's how you play them, folks. Going to the deadly flowers there. A little CBS2 reference for y'all. Unfortunately, Antonov didn't get to do much, but now Maxima coming in with guard point on all of those buttons. All of them. And he's got the Sentinel color on. Oh, oh yeah, we got this theme in the background. This is Nameless theme. I love this one. OTUM. Very, very good Yo, choice. Whoever SNK's it. music is fire. Let's be honest. All of it. I cannot pick. Like, it's only, what, like 12 stages, and, it, and I have to pick out, like, 500 songs? <laughs> yeah. Come on. I can't do that. Right now, Light is doing an incredible job handling these armored normals as well. Woo! Oh, my God. No confirm off of that. No confirm. You got to be ready as a Maxima play. Nice punish, though, from Light KV. This is going to be it. And Maxima did not get his chance to shine. Yeah, we are on the cusp of an Iori OCV here now. It's all up to the dinosaur. Yo, the biggest of bodies. Looking to hug you, looking to throw you. All right, we got some claw swipes in now. Has a lot of meter to work with as well. Now, Legend says that um, this dinosaur guy used to be t -Zock, but I don't know anything about that. No, I heard t -Zock died. <laughs> That's what I heard, too. Didn't he die, like, in a fire or something? Yeah, no. It's really weird. So. Dinosaur rose up. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that taco wasn't deep enough to combo though. Just trying to get something started here for Ivory Man, but that CD gonna blow back, no confirm, but goes for the empty low. Nice confirm, hard knockdown, oh, wake up level three. No! Oh, he caught him to the window! To the floor! Ooh, not enough though. Hey, that looks like T-Zox move, actually. It does. You know what? Maybe Dinosaur is inspired by T-Zox. Possibly. You know, maybe he watched him growing up as a wrestler, deciding this is what I want to do. Oh, tried to go for the anti-air claw there, but Iori is still on the ground, and that is an OCV. I like it. Light, even though he was up two characters, still played really patiently, right? He's like, I'm not going to overexert. You have to come in on me. You have to take control because I have you. I have your number at the moment. Yeah, and I have that fireball game too, right? And mm -hmm. all your characters that you have <laughs> have to work around that fireball game. Yeah, absolutely. Look at the focus on this man's face. He's like, yeah, one more. <laughs> one more. With the combo breaker, flannel looking Ready? nice. But let's see, man. We got, we got the same team again, as always. Antonov on point. Let's see if he can get it going. Unfortunately, another empty low here put into the corner. But we wake up, tries the combo into the DP. Not going to work out. Oh, gets stuffed out of the standing D there as well. One of Antonov's big problems is he's incredibly slow character, but that yeah. sweep is an overhead. Really good ring. Got him again, yeah. Such an uncharacteristic uh, move right there. The sweep to hit it as an overhead. You know, when this game first came out, I was hitting people with that. They're like, is that an overhead? Like, yes, sir, it is. Yeah, you know, there's a few characters that have, like, weird properties. Like, even me, Tinkoon's, like, Crouch C is a yes. sweep, right? And it's not, like, his other, uh, what, normal. But here we go. And Light KV is so confident right now that they're not even spending meter. Yeah. They're just going for easy confirms. Like, no, I'm so confident in my neutral game, I don't have to spend any meter to get rid of this character. And I like there at the end, too, he went for the fake taco, staying in front with the jump B. You know, that adds another layer of mix, right? Because you're expecting you already go for taco. EX tackle, here we go. Wake up DP as well here, jumping in. Let's go for the crash C, but there's a CD into the fireball. Okay, we got stagger pressure here with the tick throws. Mm -hmm. Nice stance C. I want to see some of the guard point usage here from Ivory Man. Maxima known for Yeah, he's trying to go for it. Using those preemptive standees to just kind of stop whatever. EX tackle. That's the low. I like it. Level one confirmed. Just needs one more confirmed. Oh, jumps right over the fireball. 
Nice. Give him a jab. All right, Ivory Man, showing off some stuff here, still in it. Mm -hmm. Maxima got the new 3090 installed in him, ready to go. <laughs> He's got that oh. liquid cooling, too. Yeah, yeah you know it. That's, what's, uh, that's the coursing thing right there. It's coursing <laughs> through. Oh, no, but Luong, though. Trying to put some legs on him. Yeah, and Luong, incredibly strong mix-up character. Really good at footsies as well with those long legs. Woo! Just challenged it. Didn't even want to punish on blocks. And I'm taking my turn now. But that's what you have to do as Maxima. You have to play disrespectfully, right, and preemptively press your buttons. Yeah, absolutely. Oh! Stuffing out the Shatter Strike there. Oh, but runs right into a throw, unfortunately. Ooh! Oh, my God. It's a little scary. Yeah, a lot of recovery there on the EX Vapor Cannon. Yeah, I think that's that's the biggest weakness of Maxima is just how slow they are, right? They have all that armor, but if you're just too slow to get it out or if you just whiff it too much, you're going to yeah. die. And especially against a character like Luong, her buttons are extremely fast, right? So you have to think almost five steps ahead of her. Yeah, and into this mix-up game yet yeah, again. That goes same side, able to jab out, but doesn't get anything going. Ooh. On the roll through, there we go, into the Izuna drop. Mm -hmm. Nice little chop to the chest right there. It's gonna be good damage, yeah, yep. I like it, go right into level one. Stepping all over the boy, it's almost over. What can Ivoryman do? He's got a bar. Is that hitting on the other side? <laughs> no, I think he just let go. <laughs> there it is. Oh, there's the handshake. I respect the team, though. Coming out with team big bodies yeah, here at know, CEO. I respect it, too. You know, and uh, you know, just kind of tighten up a few things. But like KV came to play, he was ready. He was uh, well equipped. And as we saw right there, he was able to take that game. Yeah, it makes sense. He's got the Donkey Kong shirt. Of course, he's a big body fan, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's all starting to add up now. <laughs> like everything. The big bodies, the shirt. The backwards hat, you know, you love to see it. That is a grappler player. <laughs> you just know, you just, you just feel it, you know. Absolutely. But, but who we got coming up next on Ooh, deck? So there is a player here that I am very excited to see. Never got to call his match offline. Ooh, okay. uh, ran a set with him not too long ago, and that is Juicebox FGC. He's coming up to play. I'm really excited to see Juicebox here. I think he's one of the strongest players in the country. He just doesn't travel as much. Yeah. You know, but he streams all the time. You guys know him from his tutorials on YouTube. He is well versed in his game, well equipped to be a top eight placer. And uh, he's going up against Salty Breadsticks. So I like that name. I love, I'm telling you, I am a sucker for just names. Like any cool names or funny names, you guys are winning my heart. So uh, I'm a big fan of it as well. I'm also a big fan of that Berserk tattoo. Check that out. Ooh, yo, much respect. Yo, much any Berserk respect. fans in the chat? Y'all got to go read that new chapter. Oh, absolutely. It's got to <laughs> be. Shout out to them for keeping that going, man. But there he is, Juice Fox. Yeah. So, Juice, um, I know in his current patch, he dropped King, which was like, it hurt a little because King was his character. Like, to me, when I watch Juicebox play, like, I feel like King is a master class, the way he used her. But, you know, she's had some shortcomings in this recent patch. So he dropped her, and I believe he dropped her for B A. Yeah, that makes sense. The, the problem with King currently in KO15 is that there's other characters that do what she does, but better. Like, the first one that comes to mind is Mai, right? Oh, absolutely. She plays the same game that King can play, but mm -hmm. better, and she's better up close. Robert as well, too. Yeah, Robert that still too. has, you know, King, the biggest thing she lost was uh, a reversal. She lost her EX um, trap shot being, you know, like a DP. Robert still has that, so. Which was um, a surprising change to get rid of for King because I felt like King wasn't even that crazy in the uh, original patch either, right? Uh, you didn't see her too often, really only on a few teams, uh, mm -hmm. played on point, but most people were picking Mai or Robert on that position. Yeah, that's true, that's true. But here we go, Juicebox. I think it's, um, I think this team is Janae, Rock, and Blue Mary. But let's see who Salty Breadsticks has. Uh, let's see who they are running up their sleeve. They're looking calm. I see him, you know, vibing to the music right there. He's listening to uh, Berserk track number three, Guts. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Oh, we got the Goose Howard. Let's go. Let's see. Blue Mary, absolutely. And my. I like it. Mary on both squads here. But on the other side, we got Rock King and Blue Mary. So we are seeing the king We're going to see out. the king. I respect it. And you know what? I'm happy to see this. Like I said, this is... The character for Juice Fox, the way he plays her, his neutral is just so solid. He has like 20 different things he can do to you as far as like, hey, did you get past this one? Okay, I'll use this other layer of mix up. Oh, did you get past that one? I'll use this other one. So it's very hard to constantly pin him down. Yeah, watching top level King players is an absolute treat because that character moves and plays like no other character does. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Here we go. King up against Geese. 
Starting off aggressive there as well. Yeah, you saw that? Both of them just switching sides. Yeah, if Juice likes that stand CD, you're probably going to see a lot of that here. Oh, tries to go for the 3D slide. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of that standing CD canceled into Venom Strike, right? Yep. A Absolutely. really good property for King. Absolutely. Oh, Salty Press 6 tried to throw a fireball, but way too low here. There's the top two running in, goes for the low. Nice confirm here, has it in the corner. King is deceptively terrifying in the corner, especially with 6B into EX Fireball. Mm -hmm. That's going to be it. Nice little run up there, get the optimal combo just in case he lived. But yeah, you're right. King, you know, you have to respect that stand CD. Absolutely. I mean, that's a full health King, too, coming in. Oh, good slid on, I like it. Dashing through the snow. Gets the punish there, too, on the speedball. Nice Jump CD, pushing into the corner here. Ooh, got the combo. Oh, we're going to get an optimized combo. How many fireballs is in there? And a level one super. Juice Fox getting it done. Oh, tries to catch it with the overhead, too. But Salty rolling out of there, says, I don't want any of the smoke. Ooh, got him. Ooh, yeah. You know, as a Mary player, you want to throw out sweep, right? But also as a Mary player, Juice Boxer knows that you want to do that, and he had the appropriate punish ready right there with the jump C. Yeah, but we were talking about how Mai is kind of a better version of King in a lot of aspects here, so we're going to get to see this matchup, see if Salty Breadsticks can actually prove it. He just did the guard point far B just to blow up the fireball. I mean, it's a really solid option for King for that anti-fireball game. Yep. Oh, nice. Going over the re -imble. Caught the back roll. Yeah, you got to be careful. Like I was saying, oh wow, that was an OS. Very good. All right, he exit to the corner here. Gonna get the, yep, there we go. DP as well, hard knockdown. Yeah, this is looking pretty scary for Salty Breadsticks. He's got all the meter in the world, though. Oh, nice. The low crush there on the stance. He was going to level one. This might be it. Just a pixel left. Quite. But you're in chip range, and there it is with the Tatsu. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, Salty Bread did not use any of his resources to get out of the corner. You know, you have Guard Cancel Roll, you have Guard Cancel Blowback. Hell, you got Shatter Strike as an option as well if you can predict their jump or button. And he just didn't do any of those. Yeah, and I like that you mentioned Guard Cancel Roll because Guard Cancel Roll in particular against King is a very solid option because King has a lot of like that standing D mm -hmm. keeps her out there for a long time, right? And also if she's ending those strings with fireballs, you can roll through and get a full punish with that. 100%. Yeah, that is a great option against King. And just a lot of zoners in general uh, that you know are looking for a fireball in there. Right now, Juice with the court. Look at the whiff buttons. Basically just baiting him, like, what are you going to do? And every time Salty Bread waking up, getting caught, that boy Geese is blinking. He's about to be stunned, and there it is, Jobber. Yeah, Geese is out of here, and that is a perfect as well. Seven golden letters on the screen. Yep, gold, golden letters for the Golden King right there. That's pretty fire king color. Yeah, that, that's the best color. Why do people use that, like, ugly brown? You know that, like, you know what I'm talking about? It's like brown and, like, it's disgusting. I don't yeah, know. I know exactly what you're talking about. I, I saw Arsenal Nash playing it, and I was like, man, I hope he loses just for this. I'm kidding, folks. Here we go. Fireball. Got the corner. Very good conversion off the DX tornado kick. Look at the health bar, too. Like we said, King deceptively strong in the corner. She can rock with the best of them. And Juice Box, one of the best kings, so. All right, CD into the fireball. Not quite meaty, though. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This is, wow. Look, Juice Box, the way he's playing, he is 10 steps ahead. He know you're trying to roll out the corner. He's got that on lock. He know you're trying to back roll and wake up. He's got the option selects there. And the pressure is on. The zoning is on. It's so much to deal with. Yeah, we're on the cusp of yet another OCV here, right? We haven't even gotten to see the rock. Oh, yeah, or the Mary. Oh, my God. It's, so that would have been a safe jump, but it was a, such a, a deep jump C. Oh, and there's jumping C yet again here too. Jumping CD gets the hard knockdown, goes for the low, and Salty Bread is not watching their ankles. Just keeps getting hit with it over and over. There's the level one. It's all but over. I want to see just, just bust out climax right now. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. And you know what? One thing too, Juice Box isn't throwing out fireballs because knows that Salty Breadsticks can jump over the fireball and immediately throw out the climax. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, for so now you know what. That was such a great observation for you, because you see right there, Juice Box forced the guard cancel roll. Once that happened and uh, Salty Bread was down to two bars, he started throwing more fireballs. It's like, oh, you're under the threshold of three bars. Exactly. Throw it out there, so. And that's that high player awareness, right? That things that you that you unconsciously think about in those situations. Yeah. Great stuff there, though, from Juice Box.
Yeah, the big brainness, as you see on display. Juicebox is a teacher. I mean, he's one of the best teachers we have, I think, in America as far as KOF is concerned. Uh, he's always willing to help players get better. He'll play whoever. Like, I've seen him play anyone. You know, he yeah. doesn't discriminate. So, uh, but good to see him here. You know, he'll be going further on in the bracket. Uh, folks, I, I hope y'all been enjoying the action. Yo, we, like I said, we got some more. And uh, actually, next up, we got Pivo. How do you pronounce that? Pivotes? Pivotes? Looks Versus like Pivotes. the Admiral Sultan. Okay. Okay. I feel like I recognize player two's name. Do you? I don't, the actually. Admiral the Admiral Sultan. Sultan. I, feel, I don't know why. I feel like I've seen that somewhere. We get a lot of players coming through online tournaments and doing commentary, but, you know, I really like when I don't recognize names, to be honest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's always a treat to see new players. Yeah, absolutely. CEO stack bracket 235 or six players, I think, something like that. From That's all over the world. From all over, baby. Lots of strong talent here. Everyone's trying to push their luck. You know, hopefully their their training has helped them and they're trying to advance into top 48. You know, we still got the last bit of the pools happening right now. So, yeah, yeah. top eight's going to be a bloodbath, let me tell you, right? Overall. Top 16 is going to be a bloodbath. Yes, like, absolutely. Top, you know what I mean? Like, once you get to that top 48 is when it just gets crazy. And I saw, I looked at some of the bracket, and I saw some of the matches that are paired up already, and I'm just like, oh, man. Yeah, it's like, already? Mm -hmm. Like, this is a grand finals caliber match, and we're getting in top 48? I don't want to I don't want to mention all of them, but there's a match I really want to see, and it's just a long versus Paco. Oh. And I believe they're like the first match in top 48. If not, they both have to win their first match to get to each other. That's kind of crazy. Ooh. Yeah, Justin Wong been grinding this game as well. I know Chris G has been grinding this yes. game. I'm not sure how far they are in the bracket currently. I imagine yeah. they've made it out of I pools. I think Chris, yeah, Chris is in top 48 winners. Uh, as expected, yeah, no, he is. As and of expected. course, you know, yeah. we got everyone. We got Violent Kane, we got Tamago, we got everyone. We even yep. have, I believe, don't we? I was told we had a, some Korean players here possibly. Oh, uh, that I'm not too oh, sure. Oh, they're not able to make it out. So we had a lot of uh, players from Colombia, but they yes, had some Columbia. travel issues, unfortunately, so they won't be here. But there's some, like you mentioned, there's strong players. Weta Asamiya is still in bracket. Um, as you guys just saw, Juice Fox is here. Paco. Um, it's it's going down, yo. It's going down. Yo, we got another Antonov. Oh, these, these guys are after my heart right now. <laughs> I respect it. Let's see. And he's got the right position this time, Anchor. Ooh, that. She's very interesting. Yeah, that is an interesting team. She's Mary, and Antonov. She's one of the characters. She received a whole, like, page list of changes in the patch, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And, and it shows because I think this character is best here. I think she is among the best. Only thing holds her back is she's very hard to play. Yeah, that's the bay, right? It, those characters are really difficult to play but really strong. It takes a while to find all that tech. But going against another winner from the recent patch, K-Dash. K-Dash is an absolute monster now. Yeah, absolutely. Going to see if it comes out into play. Oh, hated the roll but didn't punish. I like this spacing game right now that K-Dash is playing here. There's a jump in, but the two Bs coming out. EX not able to get the pickup. Nice. Okay, nice answer right back with the crouch C. Good block. Oh, I think there was had to be a button behind that one inch punch. Here we go. There's the corner carry. K-Dash is some of the best corner carry in the game. Yeah, he, you know, it's always interesting. His combos look like they don't work, but they do. Yes. Like, I was like, that. I was like, is that kick going to work after the fireball? And it did. k is out here playing Mugen. <laughs> Pretty much, right? Oh, what's the DP, though? That's going to allow Shizuru to try and escape the corner, but there's the teleport. There it is. Never know which one it is. Got to watch the legs. And just like that, clipping the legs. You spoke it into power. There it is. Sometimes, you know, it's like we watched this already. Maybe we're just recording from the future, guys. <laughs> Hey, if there's a K-Dash and a blue Mary on screen, you know a slide's coming. You know it. That is a very green Mary. That's a LimeWire color right there. <laughs> LimeWire Mary. Yep. Oh, nice conversion here. Oh, he's spinning that bar. Oh, and the anywhere job. Oh, my God. And the hard knockdown, too. Okay. Plus Boom. frames off the fireball. Oh, my God. What a round. Okay. Okay, Pivot. All right. You got it, my guy. I see you out here trying to win this. I need a, I need a drink after Ooh, that yeah, one. Yeah, I'm a little parched myself. So. <laughs> The heat from K-Dash's flames has dried up our throats a little bit. We need to replenish. <laughs> Let's see if Antonov can do anything. Rocking the brown Antonov color. Oh, tries to go for the DP, but it actually whips. K-Dash actually went underneath it. Yeah. He's got three bars. This is still a good position for An Antonov. Any, uh... Oh, pull up. Yeah, we're going to spin it. I like it. Are we going to go into the level three? No, level two in Oh, that did so much damage. I wasn't <laughs> expecting it to kill. <laughs> Those one-hit supers that just do burst damage just like that. Crazy. It reminds me of Karen's um, 
or a super in Street Fighter Five, where it's like you just get hit by it, like oh, live. No, you're not. And then she's just oh. <laughs> Speaking of damage, we got Yuri on tap right here. Yuri, another recent. Oh my God, the jump he cross up. He actually is probably gonna be dead. No, he dropped it. Oh yeah. Yeah, don't let Yuri's size fool you. She does absolutely massive damage with just a few bars. She is really crazy. I love her her lore in that she has like great like um. She's a, such a great prodigy where she can watch you do a move and instantly pick it up. Yeah, that's something with Sakura too, Street Fighter, right? Yeah, I think similar? it's very similar, yeah. Like in the manga, she fights Shune and she does his hand move. And I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> how is that even possible? She's too powerful. She's too broken. She would be the best character in the, in the lore if she trained, but... Uh, Anime girl Akuma. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, right? <laughs> But yeah, taking that first game there. Oh, did he just take the headphones off, I think? He took something off. Oh, he's got those those earbuds in, though. Yeah. Oh, so the, the two headphone tech, that would be sick. <laughs> All right, CD pushing to the corner yet again. This K-Dash is looking nice. Not quite old to UM K-Dash, but this one is still able to get the job done. Yeah. All right, there's the jumping with the CD. Just constantly going after traversal. Oh my god, that DP's gonna whip. This is gonna hurt for Cash, but drops the confirm. So unfortunate. Yeah, second too late on that 4D. Still has the health lead though. So Admiral Sultan can kind of just, you know, yeah, that's a good position. That mid range position for Shizuru is so strong. Absolutely here. There's the hop in, gets the overhead. Might be enough to be able to kill off this combo. No, not quite with that EXDP. Wow, I really like that, the meaty iron trigger. And the jump deep, bringing it all the way back, let's pivot this. They give a golf clap to that one. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Here we go, Blue Mary coming in now with two and a half bars on deck. K-Dash needs to watch their ankles immediately. Round start, EX slide, I see you. He's like, I know what you want, nice dash under, cross under with the crouch beat. Oh my god, K-Dash missing the combo there, but look how much damage he already put. With DP, doesn't even get punished because it sends him flying so far forward. So far away. Oh, and a bait on a command throw again. Pivotes is in there. He's making all the right reads. Content on just burning some flames right there. Yeah, and Admiral Sultan looks puzzled right now. They're not sure how to approach. They're able to get that German suplex though. Tries to run for another one, but the roll backwards into the punish there. Got him with the shut up. <laughs> Feels like that's what he says. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Back down to Antonov with the MJF scarf. You gotta make it happen, my guy. It's all up to him. Yo, MJF, we got yeah. wrestling fan here? Okay. <laughs> no, always. Oh, the meaty Chelsea. Going for the reset? Yeah, he's trying to be cheeky here. This is looking oh. crazy. The whiff punishes as well. Finally, a wake up EXDP is going to land. There's the level oh, one super, but it no, whiffed! Oh, he missed it! Okay, still able to close out the round though with the jumping D. <laughs> Back on the board here, but Yuri back in attendance. Like you called her, anime girl uh, uh, Akuma. And last time we saw this, I mean, Yuri immediately deleted Antonov, so we're gonna see if we're gonna have a rerun here. Antonov's gonna try to fight back. Oh, oh my god, yeah, this is, uh, this is looking scary right yep, here. That's it, yep. Antonov's dead. <laughs> There it is. Oh, no, oh, not enough. He's still alive, but he's in chip range. And there we go with the fireball. Able to close it out. Really clean Yuri play. Yeah, the fireball string right there. You got to know when to jump. At that point, At that point, you should probably guard cancel roll. But again, so much health. A big, big health deficit there where it's just hard to make anything happen. So Yeah, yeah. as we get further into the bracket and we see uh, even more high-level play, that's when you'll start to see the guard cancels coming out more because we really haven't seen many guard cancels at all so far in pools. Yeah. I can't, I can't actually think of one off the top of my head. <laughs> there might have been maybe one, maybe, but I'm not sure. You know, sometimes, again, that separates the, the really strong players from the, from the good players, right? Mm -hmm. Is that using all your resources, knowing when to Shatter Strike, when to Guard Cancel, when to Empty Low. Even, you know, um, Anti-Air Low yes. is something that you have to, like, condition your opponent, right, to get that all the time. So knowing all your options, and that's the thing I love about KOF, you have so many options, mm -hmm. right? So many ways to deal with many tools. It's just knowing when to use it. And when you're coming from other games, specifically, you mentioned anti-air low. That is such a King of Fighters thing that is so weird to wrap your head around if you've never played King of Fighters. Mm -hmm. It's like, wait, you're meaning I could press 
crouching kick and I can anti-air people. Yep. You have two frames of recovery on landing if you have the right spacing. And you're right. There's so many people that came from other games that I was trying to explain that to. And I was like, yeah, this is a chance. And they were like, you're so good at doing it. And I'm like, well, it's natural now. I've been playing KOF for so long. But it's something that, you know, it's not an easy concept to wrap around. But uh, here we go. Static Gorilla, that's my dude right there. Shout outs to him making it all the way here to CEO going up against Trazak. Trazak looking ready. I like the DBZ shirt. It's pretty fire here. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got the TNS shirt too for Static Gorilla. Yeah. Repping the homies here. On He's on the Tampa Never Sleep stream as well. Shout outs to TNS. <laughs> Shout outs to everyone, man. All you guys, y'all been doing a great job. I, I leave work at the time the tournament is happening, so I'll catch it, you know what I mean? Like yeah. on my way. And I'm always really enthralled of what goes on during TNS. Oh, so. TNS has crazy King of Fighters brackets. Absolutely wild if you guys tune in to see that every week. <laughs> mm -hmm. But here we go. We're just getting our buttons set up, our characters picked. Gonna jump into our next game very soon. And there's Clark. Clark oh, and Ralph. Okay. And Shermie. Shermie. This is a grappler enjoyer right Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Shermie, honorary Ikari Warrior member right now. Now I wish he had like uh, Leona's outfit on, right? Just because. <laughs> but uh, Static Gorilla, nice team right there. Kukri King, Robert. Interesting to have Robert on anchor. Yeah, that is an interesting thing, but I guess, you know. These are all point characters. I was just saying that in my head. I was like, that's a team full of points. So someone's got to fit that position, right? Exactly. So why not allow Kukri to have a little bit more meter to work with, be a little bit more sneaky, right? Mm hmm And I like putting King on second because King, like we saw earlier, can do a lot of damage with just one or one or half of a bar. Precisely. Oh, oh the chase down! Yo, he's not looking forward to any of your sand So Where are you going? So this matchup actually got a lot better for Clark. Um, just on the instance that that ground fireball has a smaller hitbox now, so it's easier for Clark to step over it. Yeah, I mean, here we go. The backbreakers are starting now with the elbow drop. Sand nice. pillar, roll through. Mm -hmm. Static Gorilla just running away, and this is the way you got to fight Clark, you know. Try to create that space, yeah. Oh, but you're going to get tackled. No follow-up, though, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, I want to run away from Clark as well. <laughs> I think everyone does. Especially when you're playing a character like Cooper, you need to play that zoning game. Keep them out. Mm -hmm. Until you get that knockdown, and then you play into Kukri's strengths, which is that crazy mix-up game. Yeah, this is a well. It was a great position having the corner. Kukri has so many plus frames when he's here. Nice, caught the back row. That's gonna be it. Up there into the Tatsu, closing that out. Shout out to our third commentator, Max Powers. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Max Powers able to cover for us when we're sipping water. <laughs> but here comes a Ralph, man. I still believe in this character. Ralph is still good, all right? Ralph may not be egregiously strong, but still a really solid character that does a ton of damage. Yeah, right there, we just saw one of the changes there. The standee just completely getting blown up by Kukri's top CD. Oh my god, that would have been sick if he converted. Oh, he got the jump. This could be big. There we go. So Any kind of a reset? No, just tries to go for the mix up there. Overhead, gets blocked. There's a jumping CD. Yep. Static Gorilla getting a lot of mileage out of that hop CD. Trazak looks like he, yeah, he is very unfamiliar with this matchup, it seems. Not knowing how to deal with Kukri. And that's, you know, as strong as Kukri is, a lot of it is also like a knowledge check in a way, too, right? Yes, um, absolutely. If you don't know how to deal with the clones, you're going to get blown up. Yeah, and a lot of situations, too, you see really high level players who have played this matchup a lot. The moment that they see Kukri's going to set up a clone, they just jump away. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hold that hold that hitbox. No part of it. Speaking of holding, she is holding these sand spin kicks here. Where was she going? Kukri just teleporting forward there. There's the triple clone, forced to block. Trying to snipe out there with that 2C, but it's not working out here. And Trezak just trying to get any ground to get something started. Wow, let's just... Okay, we're going to use those... Okay, I like it. Let's see if we can get a hit, though, to make it all work. Not going to go right now. Next hit's going to do it here for Static Gorilla. All right, maybe the next one. <laughs> yeah, okay, so he is plus on that super. Uh, that was a really good option there, using it to just lock her down yeah, in the corner, absolutely. making sure she doesn't escape. Oh, oh, okay. Looking at the camera, the, the small nod, like, yeah, I got yeah, this. He's like, I know what I'm doing. I got this. Stared into my soul. Trazak's looking around. It's like, I need an omen. I need, <laughs> I need it. He needs that Super Saiyan power up. Mm -hmm. Ready? Hey, if you sub to me, guys, and you're in the chat, throw some Clark <laughs> emotes. Give him some power up. <laughs> Let him know. <laughs> Oh, see, I was just talking about that. That is the chain, and you need to do that. That is crucial. Yeah, just hopping through the fireball like that. 
So he's trying to do it yet again here. That standing C is going to whip there. There's the 2A, not able to get much going, but trying to fish out with that 2D. Ooh. There's EX tackle, but nothing afterwards. No, you're leaving up so much damage. you got to be able to convert off of that. That's something we see. Trezak is getting a lot of tackles down, actually, but not getting anything out off of them. Yeah, I wonder if it's maybe an input error or he's just not ready yet. Oh, very good delay cancel into the forward A. Recognizing that that button hit, got a little reset there. Oh, cheeky little mix up as well. CD pushed to the corner, goes for the overhead twice. Yo, okay, I like it, yep. Oh yeah, we put out those auto combos. Absolutely, and you're gonna get the corner control right here. Very smart stuff from Trizak. Oh no, doesn't block the clones though, and gets hit for it. Ooh, see, I like the idea, but you know what? The B command throw is too slow. If he did D, it definitely would have converted. Yeah, you're seeing that Trezak is starting to take to the air, too, after throwing out the sand because he knows that Clark is going to want to hop forward to try to grab him. Mm -hmm. So able to actually beat out the throw in that time, put Static, oh, excuse me, put Trezak in the corner and finish off Clark. Yep. Very good awareness, very good adaptation for Static Gorilla. Speaking of Gorilla, we got Ralph right here. But uh, see, again, we see the standee nurse. But Stan C, yep, that button is still very much as good as it is. Yeah, that's the change. Now you can't just rely on Stan D. You have to throw in some more Stan Cs. Absolutely. Looking to nickel and dime just to close this one out. Oh, trying to throw the DP there. Not going to work. Lock down here in the corner. Yes, okay, I like it. Busting out right there with the Vulcan. And it is 42 seconds. He's going to get all that health back without a scar in sight. But now has to get through another zoner here in King. King with good meter working with us. Round awesome. start heavy Vulcan, you gangsta, I see you. <laughs> Just letting it rip, why not? It's like, I'm establish this right now. Was able to keep himself safe too if he needed to because he has the ability to quick max. Ooh, I like it again. Very good auto combo. Gonna get that Galactic of Phantom. Not Galactic of Phantom, sorry, the, the other super. Oh, doesn't go for the dive punch though. Oh, this is a big punish here. No! Oh, missing the, the cancel. That could have been Death's day right there for King had he got the combo. There's the jump in, though, and no EX afterwards, too. Oh, really unfortunate to see here. Trey's like just trying, kind of spilling their spaghetti there on the training room floor. Yeah, you need. Oh, nice blow up right there. Good patience. Yeah, Static Red baiting out that EX round pound. But yeah, like you said, you know, that's, man, that's very crucial. You have to get the advantage in. Now it's all up to Shermie here. We are on set point for Static Gorilla trying to move forward in the pools. Got some fireballs. Oh, that was almost a really bad roll there. Fortunately, not punished. All right, here we go. A command grab. Able to get the knee on the chest as well. Yep. Ooh. Counter with the two, um, excuse me, the five B here. Tries to go for another command grab, doesn't work, and gets tossed. Oh, they're trying to bait something out again. Maybe trying to bait out the level three, I don't know. But there we go, standing C. Charmy able to close that. That's the uh, I gotta hand it to you <laughs> animation. Chop. Gotta hand it to you. Speaking of hands, Robert coming in trying to put hands on Shermie. Actually, no, he's putting legs on Shermie. Let's see. Ooh, nice scoops with the command throw. German suplex. No cancel at all. Had the EX, so couldn't cancel onto it. Yep, yep. Okay. Still pretty healthy meter right there for Shermie. They just need to get through this fireball game. Oh, there's the roll through and the command grab into the level one. Are we going to see a climax? Oh, no. no. You got to spin that extra bar. That would have did so much damage. This is going to be, oh. Oh, just a little too high to actually get the confirm there off the 2B. There's did he jump, did he jump, did he jump? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the raw level three is going to yep. pay dearly for it. We're going to see a level two here from this Robert. Should yeah. be enough? Should be enough. I think it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be enough. But, man, he should have did one to level one to two, just to be sure. Yeah. You know? But you know what? Static Gorilla knew. He got the combo right there. Very, very good. Yeah, Dragon kicking him into the Milky Way there at the end. There it is. Yeah, you see her flying. Yo, off. TNS, let's go. Oh, Repping the homies. I see you. Very, very good. 
When you said Milky Way, I was thinking of like Team Rocket. Team Rocket's <laughs> blasting off again, and just kicked in, the, kicked into orbit. Charmy does does have a little bit of a uh, uh, Jesse vibes. A little bit, yeah. You know, <laughs> he's got the hair. Yeah. Right? Right? So yeah, folks, we're gonna take a quick second. You know, we gotta pay the bills. We gotta keep the lights on. We hope you guys are enjoying the matches, but we about to run some ads. And the first one we got right there, take control, baby, Hitbox. You can check out Hitbox.com, use the code CEO2022, get yourself a nice little discount, and you get one of the best controllers out there. Yeah, absolutely. And if you guys are not able to make it to CEO, make sure to check out CEO.GamingGen.GG or scan the QR code to pick up some of that official CEO2022 merch. Yes, and there it is, Gorilla. You've seen the players, Romance, Chris G, they're here. They're going to be launching one of the most innovative esports tournaments, softwares, and solutions ever. You can register now, Gorilla.gg, for early access. And the black and gold for CEO is back in full faction. Make sure to check out controllerchaos.com to pick up that sick CEO stick or controller or anything else you need from them. Festival of Frights, there it is. $3,000 in pop bonuses. All those delicious games right there. Check it out, Riverside Game Lab. Learn more at festival, all, uh, festivaloffrights.com. You're on that trick or treat, but if you want to treat, you can use a 20% coupon code CEO2022 at QuambaUSA.com to pick up some sweet Quamba gear. I just bought the Aegis today. That is an incredible bag, so make sure to check it out, guys. I'm going to go buy that next, but you know what? I'm also going to get some stuff from Arcadia, and you can register right now. $50,000 uh, 50, total prize pool. You can see it there. The qualifiers, everything is right there for you to see. Top 12 and uh, top 12 qualifier, excuse me. Uh, to the main stage, so check it out right there. Yeah, and don't forget to check out Vinyl Labs. If you need some good vinyl action here, you can use the, the coupon code CEO2022 for 20% off storewide at vinyllabs.com. Bro, that CEO stick, I was over here pogging behind <laughs> the camera. They couldn't see me. It's tight. <laughs> I'm going to go spend some money after this block. <laughs> that looks so good. Ooh, but up next, we're going to be having Milu up against Fren... I, oh, man, I'm going to butcher this Fren name. Fernicius? 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 Yeah, <laughs> it looks like Fernicius. Yeah, Fernicius is player one side, Milu player two. So Milu is a player that I do know. I believe they also play Guilty Gear, so I'm excited to see them play here. Perfect. Ooh, I saw Yamazaki. I love the crossover. Yeah, okay. You love to see it. You know what? Let's see. Oh, okay, interesting teams here. We're seeing a lot of Robert. A lot of Robert in full play. Yeah, and actually some Ralph. You know, Ralph really kind of died off after the recent patch, so I'm, I'm happy to see him back because he's a cool character, right? Me too. He's a, a boy after my own heart. Uh, let's see if this Ralph can get it done, get some damage on the board. But yeah, Iori, Ralph, Rock, Robert, Yamazaki, and Yuri. Yamazaki, still fairly recent, right? It's only been a little over a month since the Team Southtown DLC. And um, I think he's really good, too. I think Yamazaki's yeah. great. I think Yamazaki has proven to be the strongest character coming out of that DLC so far. I would agree. I would agree. But, oh, we got the pink Iori as well. All right. Yeah, both players rocking the, the, the ice cream colors right there. The pink. Pharrell would be happy if he saw this. Here we go. Start off that fireball game. Trying to jump in. But a nice jump in there from Milu. Going to go into the legs. Get that pick up with the DP. Very good optimal damage right there. Ooh, the taco. Kicked him in the back. You saw that? Yes. <laughs> Starting him up at number one at Taco Bell. No, you know it. All right, stagger pressure there with the two Bs, but answers that stagger pressure with a standing CD. Pushed all the way here into the corner yet again. That was such a sick conversion and a really good guard cancel roll right there. We're seeing it, Jobber. As these matches are advancing, we're seeing people use their tools and a proper jump in to close it out. Here we go, jumping straight into the next character. It's going to be Yamazaki. Surprised not to see Yamazaki put on point because this character is an incredible battery with the ability just to whiff snake arm over and over and over. You know what it is? I think a lot of players want to come in with uh, poison like locked and loaded, right? To already have yeah. it. Right now, not going to get it. EX Maidenless Smasher, hitting the combos right there. Yeah, instead of going to lose half your health, able to actually get the overhead but didn't get a confirm off of it, just a little too high. Oh, interesting interaction there with the jumping. <laughs> It's a weird trade, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, there's the guard cancel roll through. Not able to quite get anything out of it, though. And another taco. Yeah, Fernicius all the way from Brazil. You can see the level of play. Uh, Brazil is very strong as a whole at KOF. Yeah, happy to see some Brazil killers out here putting in work. Absolutely. And you're seeing it, like, again, on display. I mean, you can always tell, like, the, the movement in Iori, you can always tell who's been playing him for so long, right? 
Yeah, for sure. People have been playing this character since 98. Bro, they've been playing this character longer than some people in bracket have lived. <laughs> that is right. insane to think, right? Like, And he doesn't change that much. He doesn't, yeah. All right, there's the guard cancel attempt. Gets blocked. Okay, yeah. You know what? That's fine. Yuri's kind of going ham. You can subdue him. Get yeah, him out of here. One bad with DP, and you're out of there. But here comes in Ralph now. Oh, who? Ralph Jones. Who? Ralph Jones. <laughs> Looking like Donatello of the Ninja Turtles. Let's see. Did he get it done? He's got two bars. The purple headband. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Drops the dive kick confirmed there, unfortunately. Spent that meter for nothing. He had to block that. I'm so glad he did, because I was scared for him. Oh, missing the empty low. Punish. There's oh my god, CD. he just jumped in and crouched in his face. Oh, a whiff, but no punish on that either. Instead, Milu put themselves into the corner. There's the slap, though. Starting to get this pressure going. Jumping CD to escape, and the counter hit in the air is going to allow him to land and get the standing D. Yeah, very good. Oh, and the little pop-off there at the end. I like it, yeah. All right, Milu. Got to feel yourself. Feeling really confident here. Looking really clean as well. Did a really good job handling that Yuri. And also the great state of mind and the awareness there to be able to confirm off the counter hit in the air. Yeah, you always have to have that. You see that counter hit pop up on the screen, you have to be ready. There's so much damage that people leave on the table because they don't like quite optimize that. I mean, here we go. Frenicius up one right now. Starting the pressure. Feeling incredibly confident. Milo's going to have to get something going. And this is a star here with the EX legs. EX legs into the EX Tatsu, excuse me, into the normal legs there. Uh, EX flames. Got him with the deadly fires. Good block on the taco. It's fine. We'll just scum gale you. <laughs> you finally blocked the taco and you think the pressure's coming? Nah, it's just a command grab. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Scoop you now. Yeah, congratulations. All but over. Yes, yeah, stand CD right there. It's very hard to come back on someone like that who's just content on just chilling there and looking for trades, looking for bad jump-ins. Like, it's so hard to make that comeback. Yeah, now Yamazaki's going to have to put in a lot of work here against Iori. Wow, nice jab DP there. Just calling out whatever. A little hop over the fireball. Blocked the standing C, but there's just a light DP as well. Nice. Using the plus frames, that was very good. Poison is on deck, gonna take the corner with the stomp. Yep. I like it, pushing him back a little bit. Got all that poison he could. Nice hop CD. Okay, very good. Ooh. I love it. Very good anti air conversion. That was so sick. Incredibly clean there, but Fernicius doesn't care, just wakes up into buttons and keeps the pressure going. There's the level two. Yep. Not gonna be enough and having a pixel. Actually, he can command though, right? Oh, he was no to, not to, but I believe he could. Yeah, um, he could pick up. He can OTG, for sure yeah. could have OTG, but probably thought it wasn't gonna kill, so didn't want to spend the meter. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the next round already. And again, this is uh, OCB territory for him. Okay, oh, using the command run, the new tricks from Yuri. Why does Yuri have a command run? I need to talk to SK. <laughs> what is happening here, folks? Remember when everyone was feeling down on this character when the game released, right? And then the patch came out, it's like, nah, Iori's back, all right? This character is strong. I knew it. And speaking of strong, right there, Yuri would have crouched strong into the fireball, taking that game. Yeah, Yuri looking really clean here, and it's up to Ralph yet again. I feel like I've seen this story before, though. <laughs> oh, we definitely have. And let's see if it has the same ending. Oh, oh. oh it might, was about to have the same yeah, ending. Yeah, missed the combo, unfortunately. Just trying to go for the dive punch there in neutral, okay. That was weird. It looked like it hit low enough to jump D, but it still wasn't enough to confirm. I like it. Bust out chill upper. Oh, this is going to be death right here. He doesn't drop it. Doesn't think he is. Yep. Oh, didn't even need a level one afterwards, too. Able mm -hmm. to close it out. Brazil strong showing up here to CEO. You love to see it. Yeah, Fernicius, the way he is playing, definitely somebody to look out for later on as these brackets can, you know, continue to go on. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have had such incredible KO F plays so far today, and it's only going to keep getting better going forward. Yeah, Man. absolutely. Uh, I'm just impressed so far with what I've seen from him, from some of the other players that have been here. The character variety is always a treat to oh, watch that, right? Such good character variety. We got a maximum on screen, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Two Antonovs, you know, uh, for the Two big body Antonovs. fans out there. That's so, yeah. crazy. You know, we've been getting them out there. We've been having some really good matches. Hope you guys at home have been enjoying me and the homie, oh. my man King Java. Hope y'all been enjoying the commentary, enjoying the production values. CEO as a whole, wish you could be here. But if you're at home, <laughs> 
I hope you guys are loving it. I'm having a great time here, CEO. So nice. A pleasure to do commentary with you as well. Our Absolutely. first time doing commentary together. I know, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been the first time. You know, I, I I had a lot of first times this weekend, and and I'm happy about that. You know, um, you know, events are coming back in full force. KOF 15, hot game right now, super cool, right? It's um, it's the hotness, and it's been five months, and a lot of us have been working hard, you know, honing our craft mm -hmm. on the mic in the game, and. I'm just glad that the fruits of our labor are showing. Yeah, so great to have offline events back. I'm just so glad to see international competition being able to play in person Ooh, here, right? Yeah. Online is great. The netcode is wonderful with the rollback, but nothing compares to seeing them sitting on the stage and playing. That is true, yep. Yeah. And on the stage right now, looks like we have F. Kang going up against Sharks. All right. So these are some cool PSN names. You know, I feel like I've seen them on <laughs> Call of Duty, maybe. Xbox Live. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Xbox Live names. Yeah. <laughs> Sharks, Shark Z, or just sharks. Sh Shoutouts to the shout to the guy in like 2012 on MW2 named Barbecue Sauce on my toe. <laughs> I think the best name I saw was like Triple H ate my cat, and I'm just like, but why? Like, why is this your name? Here we go. We're getting our button checks in as well, mm -hmm. setting them up into the character select uh, yet again. I'm curious to see what the variety is going to be in this matchup. Yeah, you know, we haven't seen an Isla just yet. There's a few characters. Oh, okay, we got Joe. He needs business. Yo, Joe. Yo, man. Fight, fight, win, win. Joe Higashi till the end. All right, we got Joe. We got Chizuru. Oh, man. And Cronin. How is this the first Cronin we've seen in this pool? Okay, that is actually mind blowing. <laughs> this is the very first Cronin of the day in this pool. We got a cool diamond. I just said we didn't see Isla, and we're getting an Isla. Yeah, Isla right on deck. You know what, Jabba? We might be commentating from the future. I don't maybe. Know. Maybe we're predicting this. <laughs> it's all an illusion, chat. Maybe I should go bet on the Daytona Raceway or something. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. And we'll split that. <laughs> I'll give you some money. But uh, here we go. First Isla of the day. Isla got some quality of life changes, too. She's got some new routes, some interesting setups uh, with her combos. And, um, you know, I, I think she's good. I just think also that, that work barrier, right? Yes. People want to play the characters that give them the best results with the ease of access. She might give you really good results, but it takes a little more than playing, you know, Cronin. Yeah, absolutely. And <laughs> speaking of Cronin, Cronin, a character that in this recent patch has turned into an absolute menace, and I'm sure we're going to have more to talk about that. But right now it's Joe. Joe, a character who's kind of fallen off. They haven't really changed much, but it seems like people are just not picking him as often. Yeah, it might be that work factor. I've heard Joe players tell me that they find Joe boring, and maybe that's the case. I don't know. But F. King all the way from Brazil here to prove that Joe is still a contender. Oh, I love it. The Brazil player is getting really far in bracket here. Nice, yep. Still safe on the spin kicks here. Yeah, ending a lot of these strings with the fireball, though. You need to be careful with that once Isla has the meter to guard cancel. Yeah, absolutely. Nice EX golden heal. Yeah, he's in a good position. Wow, interesting uh, close scene, it looks like. Yeah, hitting all the way behind there. Yep. With her amigo by her side, she's trying to win this game, but it's not looking too well. Runs right into a tornado. And that's going to be a lot of health coming back here, too, for FK. Joe is going to be sitting nice and healthy going up against Kula now. Yep. So he has to be a little careful. Kula has the reflector there. She can send the fireballs. Also, her jump arc is like perfect for going over fireballs, right? So let's see if Sharks is able to use those options here to neutralize Joe. Missing the EX conversion, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's safe. Nice yeah. jump in. And that is the buff recently, or I should say the nerf to fireballs, right? And the buff to jump in. You can short hop over fireballs a lot e more easier now and showed it off right there. Yeah, I, and you know what? I believe Joe is the reason that exists <laughs> because you cannot jump in on Tiger uh, uh, Tornado Uppers at all. Yeah, it was just such a pain because it's such a big hurt box. Yep, nice reset there with the stand D. Gonna get his damage. Yep, F King looking good, just gonna pretend on... Oh, nice frame trap day with... Oh, and the conversion Ooh. slash kick. Not quite enough to kill, though. <laughs> Getting close to chip range, needs to be careful. Oh my god, I was looking really scared for a minute. Ooh, yeah, run nice. up Tiger Knee, okay. Yep. Very good read right there. Knew that Kula was gonna go for something a little hasty, take a little bit of a risk, but he had that DP on standby. Now to go up against Mai though, and Mai has almost four bars on deck. That could have been it. That could have been the confirmer. They were not ready for it. So unfortunate. Oh, it's gonna be very chance, very few chances. No, dropping it again. You know what? Shadow Strike, bust out. There we go. Able to close out Joe finally here. Gonna get a nice grip of health back as well. 
Shark is still in this, has to deal with Chizuru now, but then that menace that is Cronin is sitting in the wings waiting. Yeah, and Chizuru mid, this is quite interesting. Um, Chizuru, a very good point character just because she can kind of blow up people without resources. But you know what? She's got meter, so you know that meter for Mai is going to get locked out. Oh, and the standing CD in the corner. What is going on right here? There are too many Chizurus on screen, and your health is gone. Way too many. Nice OTG right there. For those at home that may not know that blue tinge on Mai is because her special moves are locked out. She is unable to do them. Once Chizuru hits you with that super, there's a time limit, and you can't do anything. Yeah, and that is something that is really not widely known to more casual King of Fighters players because Chizuru is a rare character already, right? And then, even then, Chizuru players don't really use that super a whole lot. <laughs> not as much, yeah, but when it's used, you gotta get, you got to be scared. I think you do have access to guard cancel, but that's about it. You can't do any special moves. So. Yeah, you got to rely on those normals, on those fundamentals. Round yeah. One. Ready? Here we go. Back at it again. Oh, I'm missing the cross-up jump too. Able to block the low there, though, but that golden heal just working as a really strong anti-air. Nice conversion there up the far A. That was really good. Got it again. Okay, yeah. FK knows his spacing. Uh-oh, are we going to see? No, we're not going to see a stun combo. Okay. Whoa! Actually, hold on. That. Are we? Okay, drops yeah. to confirm there. I was about to say, are we about to get the point Joe stun combo? <laughs> no, I was like, yeah, we, need to, we need to take another look at this character again. Oh, this oh wait. Awesome. They got rid of those in this update, didn't they? Yeah, he, can't, yeah, yeah, he yeah. can only do it on mid now, I think. Well, no, he can do it with He two needs bars. the meter. Yeah, he needs two bars now. That was a sick confirm <laughs> nonetheless, though. But there's the hop in, pressure coming in from Kula, but now backing up, wants to try and play a little bit of a footsies game. <laughs> that was nearly a devastating whip punish. I was feeling it for him. I was a little scared. Whip right in front. Yeah, good reactions right here. That King is ready for those jumpings every time. There's another one. Pushback. Man, that, that ice breath does so much pushback on the lock here. Yo, that's the Mitzi Fresh breath right there, yo. <laughs> that's how it feels to chew five gum. <laughs> Definitely puts like five sticks in her mouth before every fight, right? Oh, and nice. again with these anti-air knees so strong. Oh, wow, look at that. Still jumping on the fireball. Such a big hitbox on it. And this is looking very scary. Cool is going to have to be forced to come in, and Joe's is ready oh. every time. Yeah, level one is not invincible. You cannot just throw that out for free here. And F. Kang is threatening a Joe CV. Yeah, it's looking like it. And y'all didn't see it, but uh, Shark reeled back when that whiff. When that didn't work, he was like, oh. So I don't know. That might be the mental defeat happening, but we shall see. The dangerous position to be in here. Here we go with the EX punches, golden heel. Oh, the reset as well with the standing D straight into the fireball. Yep. Okay. Good awareness though, knowing she was too high up. Oh, but oh, the combo. Yeah, really unfortunate to see there. Probably miss input. Oh, no confirm off that either. Yeah, missed the back uh, B right there. To the command normal. All right, the roll backwards creates his face. Now that you have such a high life lead, yeah, you're still not going to be able to jump over EX Fireball. Oh, and it's oh. going to chip out. He chucks three of them. And just like that, F King taking that one very, very handily and decisively with Jill. The Jill CV, like you said. And there it is. Brazil strong yet again, showing up and putting in the work. You love to see it here. The international competition that King of Fighters is known for. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we always talk about it, right? They say KOF is like, it's like soccer. Everywhere else is like super really good and strong at it and they love it. America, you know, we got some time to catch up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. we're good. And you know, who knows? CEO 22 has been really crazy. There might be some upsets, there might be some blow ups. But are you seeing what we got coming up next? Yo, I see play some players sitting down here now. We got Juice Box Ooh. up against Trinicus. All right. Ooh. Speaking of American players that are pretty strong, Ooh. Juice Box is one of those, right? Oh my God! I can't pog is this, any harder. This, than this has to be to get out of pools. This is to get this is to get out on winner side. Yeah, this so, absolutely has to be. Yeah, like, like I've mentioned yesterday, um, the pools, the way they work, there's three people that get out. There's two losers and one winner. So all you have to do is make it to the end of your pool, and you automatically qualify. It just depends if you qualify on winners or losers. And this man, this matchup right here. We just saw Frenicius or Frenicus, we just saw him and how dominant he was, right? The match before the last one. And Juicebox, we saw how well he played. The King, just a masterclass yes. of how to use her and just 
just fundamentally solid. So, so this is going to be a clash of titans here to try and make it out of pools. Like we said, these pools have been an absolute bloodbath if you all tuned into day one. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, I am interested in this. If you said clashing of the titans, perhaps a clashing of styles as well. True, right? A little bit more aggressive on the Brazil side, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas on the flip side, Juicebox likes to play a little bit more, you know, a calmer, a little bit more patient here. This box is very calculated. Um, he has no wasted moves. In You'll see a lot of times. One of the things he'll do is like he'll he'll do like a lot of jabs before he does something. And that stand jab is just to confirm should I go with this next option. So I'm throwing this jab off to see what you're gonna do. Yeah, I mean look at that other team, Iori, Ralph Rock. That is an aggressive team. That's a team that wants to get in on in you and not let you move. He wants to get in, beat his chest, <laughs> gorilla style. You know? Absolutely. Ralph Gaiman is the term, and he's trying to game. But here we go, Iori up against King on point. This is an interesting matchup to see. Yep. See how this one plays out. Though. Oh, the clean jump in. That's what we're talking about, being really aggressive right off the bat here. Nice. Oh, Anti-air low, there it is. Yep, there it is. You're going to see a lot of that hit. Wow, what an option. EXDP through the fireball string. Yeah, Bernicio is ready. Bernicio, excuse me, is ready. Yeah, throwing out these fireballs yet again. Jumping C in. Oh, tries to throw out the standing CD. Not going to quite work. Gets the cross up, but not a big confirm off it and gets tossed for their troubles. Good block again. Juicebox with the jab throw. Oh, the stagger pressure. You loved it. Made him think he was going for another throw. Went low and got the combo. Not quite enough to kill though, but one more mix is going to do it. Tries to go for the raw overhead. That was amazing blocks right there, too. Oh, it gets clipped by the Venom Strike there. It looked like maybe they were trying to go for a Rekka or jump out. Yeah, perhaps, or maybe some chip. I think that might have been chip damage. Ready? Right, here we go. Ralph coming in now. It's Ralph gaming time, and King is gone. Just like that. Ralph got the game. GG, shake my hand, he said. Can we get some salutes for King in the chat? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> here we go. Now up to Rock Howard. Yeah, Rock Howard with the classic color right there. W pink drip. <laughs> you know, he is trying to play juice box. Wow, look at the jump in. And you know what? That works out really well against Ralph. Ralph's anti-air options outside of ground pound are not as strong. Yeah, not really there. But oh my god, the shatter strike coming out, but whiffing right underneath juice boxes jumping. Wow, preemptive 2C. I like it. EX Galactic Phantom right through the fireball. Yo, that's one big punch. <laughs> yeah, just, just fun. How you punch you one time and it hits twice? That's crazy. Oh my god, the Oh! Nothing personal, kid. See ya. Oh. <laughs> that was nasty. The dash through into the EX command grab. Dude, there was no wasted motion there. Instantly went right into that. He didn't wait. He didn't see. Oh, what you gonna do? Wake up. Nope, I'm doing this. Oh, same brain cell there for a second. Yep, yeah, Raccoon Kit in stereo. Gets a hard knockdown into the corner with the safe jump. Yeah, Rock has so many safe jump options. It's so scary. You don't know what to do waking up against this character. Every time. Oh, stayed in front. Juice didn't block. But fortunately for him, the jumping was too high. Good and guard cancel. Yep. Picture perfect. Unfortunately, didn't have a ton of meter to work with to punish that. Level two. Oh, it hits as well. Not sure what he went for, but... Oh, I'm slipping. I wonder if he was trying to go for command grab there, possibly. Maybe, yeah. Trying to scoop his legs. Yeah, but the damage has been done. Fernicius think taking Juicebox down to his anchor Mary, but Rock's bleeding. He's not looking too good. Oh, all the awareness. Entire low. Mary has a lot of mirror to work with here. Not going to spend any more, though. Oh, the standing CD whiffs. Now Mary's back is up against the wall. But there's a clean throw. So All right. I love right there, right? At the end, Juice Fox the took the hit, but he was pressing throw. And the reason why that's so good is that if they're gonna if they're gonna combo you and you mashing throw, right? You're gonna get hit regardless, right? If the jump D is deep enough. But if it's not, you can mash throw and throw them out of whatever it is. So that was just good awareness right there to do that. Yeah, absolutely. That is something that once you start to get to higher level, you need to constantly be doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the 3D to get under the jump in and then standing CD punish. Slipping by. And this is one thing about Juicebox that I like. He has the ability to turn up. He'll play the first game just a really lame style, and then the second game he'll just completely turn up the aggression like he's doing right now. 
Yep, there's a nice jump out though from Iori. Able to swap sides and get mid screen. Oh, nice. a trade there. Stand, standing C is going to win out though, but the standing C to get rid of Iori here. That is going to be a nearly full health king for Juice Box. Yeah, this is already shaping up to be a better round for him. First one was very close. Good block. Oh, the Shadow Strike. Carried all the way to the wall here. Yep. Into the level one. Are we gonna see a dive punch? Yep. Yep, add on that little extra damage there. Yep. Oh, no confirm from Juice, but still has the pressure in the corner. I like that mixing up the throws there. And that back up too, I love that back dash. Just, just locked down Frenesius in the corner, but Frenesius brawling their way out with Ralph and getting rid of King. Yep, that's how Ralph does it. Two-bar rock, Howard coming in. Oh, oh my god. Every time I see a button lift, I get a little scared inside. <laughs> Dude, this game has such high damage and people have mirror too. So yeah, you one whiff punish could lead to absolute death. There's the overhead kick, plus frames on that. Yeah, very good mix of the strings right there for Juice Box. Able to keep things fresh. Keep Vinicius on his toes. Wow, DP rise and tackle, I like it. All right, standing, jumping CD, excuse me, into the empty low, but not able to pick up with the 2C. That's so unfortunate there. It's gonna be enough. Yeah, it doesn't even have to spend the extra resources. And that should absolutely be full health rock as well. Yes, it is in this mirror match. Pretty much even resources here, but of course, Juice Box still has Blue Mary waiting in the wings. EX rising tackle, and then the trade in the air, immediately going into that fireball game. Ooh. No conversion there off the counter hit off CD. Ooh, bottom slip in. Juice Box really good at blowing up those bad jumps. Yeah, and the EX overhead kick is going to allow a really nice corner carry combo. Oh, the confidence to just press 2C. Say, your block string is not real. It's my turn, buddy. I'm the protagonist of this game. I flip the hair, too. Yeah, you already know. Rub the jacket a little bit. And here we go, Blue Mary now. Juice Box wants to close this out, does not want this to go to a game three. Yeah, definitely don't want to have that. Oh my god, didn't cancel. That was, uh, I wonder if that was an impotent from Juice. Short hop over the fireball, trying to throw out that 2D sweep. Oh, wow, that was a max range crowd speed. Oh, caught him pressing buttons. It's going to be big, not enough to kill. Holding on to the meter though, next touch is going to do it. Oh, just backing off, trying to let Frenicius hang himself. Frenicius has two bars. Ugh, trying oh. to go for a cross up. Not quite gonna work, gonna back up, start throwing out these fireballs. Oh, oh, what a punish into the Maximo confirm. It's not gonna be quite enough to kill. No, didn't have one bar to get the level three, so unfortunate. Juice Box just dashing up with the throw. Oh Got him my again! God. The, the, Where are you going? The ball's on this dude. Stop running for me. I am chasing you. POV, Mary is chasing you right now. That why, are you why, why are you running? Why Why are you running? Caught him. Oh, Juice Box, persistent. He said, hold up. No, no, no. I want your number. Come here. Let me get your number. Persistent. Chasing him down. Two. That was supposed to be dash up throw, I believe. But because it was a little far off, got the stancy. But again, Thank Juice Box. We take guy. those. <laughs> we take those. We absolutely take those. Great showing there moving forward. And our next match is going to be great as well. We're going to be having Static Gorilla versus Kroom coming up on the stage. And I wonder if this is going to be the loser side of the bracket then. Uh, I wonder. I know there's been several pools at the same time, so it might just be winners from a different one. I'm not yeah, sure. we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see right here. Kroom coming in, got the fro and the pad. It was, it was always cool to see pad KOF players because the movement in KOF is so like precise, right? Mm -hmm. And it's even for stick players, it can be hard to constantly get your short hops in and things like that. So to see a pad player and you know that's able to play effectively, it's always a really good thing to see. Yeah, well, that stick is really cool looking too. I wonder what kind of stick that is. I like it a lot actually. Oh, the one Static has? It looks like, uh, yeah, those look pretty cool. I like the pearl white on it. It's nice and small too, those compact sticks. Mm -hmm. Royal Tribe, I like the jersey. With the bear? Yo, hungry. Yo, he's mean mugging. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> he's hungry to win this game yeah, too. Move on like in the bracket. Know. Word. Select members. Here we go, setting up these buttons. Yet again, a familiar sight here. Very much so. Of course, Static Gorilla rocking the TNS shirt. Hasn't changed since they got off before. <laughs> 
So let's see. I'm curious who uh, who Krum or Krum, uh, not sure how it's pronounced, is going. What what team they're going to pick here? Yeah, we shall see. It might be Krum actually. I think it's Krum. Krum. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Locking a king. Ooh, double king. All right, Vanessa. Yep. Oh, she's back. The, we haven't seen Vanessa in a long time. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Yeah. Uh, just a short month and a half ago, she was all over your screens, mm -hmm. going through the airwaves. And now it's Cronin. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, Vanessa's still a strong character, right? I agree. Uh, she may have gotten nerfed, but she's still incredibly solid, still has wonderful corner carry. It's just, you know, her damage for how fast and easy she got it was kind of a problem. So she kind of deserved the nerf. <laughs> Listen, I'm calling out all you Vanessa players that dropped her. Y'all are frauds. Y'all are fakes. Ooh. If y'all really loved her, y'all would have stood by your woman, but you didn't. You that went, ain't your wife. You went. It is not. It's definitely not their wife. And you went and you picked Cronin. Oh, but here Dang. we go. Let's see. Obviously, one of the dying greeds right here. Crumb looking to do some work. Vanessa versus King. There's that ugly king club we were talking about earlier. Yeah, the brown and purple. Oh, this is terrible. Who dressed her? What is going on? All right, the Venom Strike coming out too. Trying to get this pressure going. What a 3D to stuff the dash into from Vanessa. Yeah, very good awareness right there. Knowledge, uh, matchup knowledge, if you will. Stagarelli doing a good job with the spacing here. EX Venom Strike is going to force Kroom to get hit by the jump, well, hit while jumping in. Yeah, Static Gorilla doing really well with the zoning. Yeah, just keeping him out. I like it. The standees. Yep, this is the proper way to play. You don't have to do too much. Whoa! Okay. All right. Static Gorilla clearly ate his Flintstones vitamins, and he is thinking <laughs> on a whole nother plateau because, man, the Zen you need to play the way he's playing? That, that patented king play, right? Actually ending the combo there with EX Venom Strike surprisingly. Oh, no continuation on the slide there. Jumpy CD gets hard knockdown. Oh, wow. Just tries to go for the close-up standing D, but we get that wake-up DP from Rock. I really like his reactions to just throw you. If you're next to him, he's already inputting throw. Again, we just see it right on display for us. Yeah, constantly there, too. I mean, King standing D, standing C is an incredibly strong button as well, so why not? Mm -hmm. Oh, I had to jump in, but didn't believe. Yeah, Rum is looking for any type of option right now, but Static Gorilla's Zenful nature just able to kind of sway every option he has. And Static Gorilla threatening an OKV here, a one king victory now. We'll see if that if Krum can or Krum can prove that they're the better king. Yeah, let's see. Staring at the woman in the mirror. He's got more meter, a little more cash to spend. Krum just needs to get some type of uh, offense established. There was a point right there, but he didn't opt to spin. Yeah, run up DP, surprise to see, and there's the jump in. You have to make this count. Uh, no, doesn't cash out. You have five bars, my guy. It, if Crumb dies with the five bars, I'm a cry. <laughs> you know what, he's saving it for the next game. <laughs> yeah, That's what it it's an investment, diamond hands. There we go, spends EX with the DP. Static Gorilla content, just backing up, throwing up EX fireballs, and he's catching. Oh, that was an EX Fireball if I've ever seen one. Yeah, trying to run forward and go into EX Fireball, yeah. right? But you need to make sure you do an actual half circle in order to get that, or else you're going to get that DP motion in a lot mm -hmm. of cases. Yeah, the inputs in this game, it's very strict. And, and uh, excuse me, it's the, the buffer system is like, if you hold forward for a slight second, you're going to get the move you don't want. So you have to be very, very clean with your inputs. Mm -hmm. Here we go, checking on the buttons yet again, make sure they're all situated. Man, you got to have the win button on deck, brother. Yeah, we hit that. Boom. Yeah, that's it. Standy. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if Vanessa can put in a little more work this time. Sticking with the same team as well. Select order. Yep. Are we going to get an order swap, though? There's the deep breath, too. All right, yep. Rock in the middle. King on anchor. And let's see, let's see if Crumb can actually change change fate here because right now Static Gorilla is looking incredibly strong. Yeah, with the way he was playing, uh, just reacting to literally everything Crumb did, Crumb just didn't stand a chance. So he's going to have to have a complete, just complete one, like 180 just on his entire game style, how he wants to approach this uh, if he wants to advance further on in the bracket. Yeah, it was looking incredibly rough here, but here we go. Round one, going to back up yet again with Vanessa. Pretty surprising to see, playing very patiently there. 
Yeah, he's trying to navigate fireballs, but there's no fireballs right now to navigate. That's that that's that fear of God in you, right? Yeah. We talk about that with grapplers, but King put in the fear of the fireball gods. Uh-huh. There we go, got the corner control. Okay, got a hit. Hop CD, that's the party starter. That button is still very, very good. Yeah, I want to see some more two A's here from Vanessa as well. All right, backing up yet again. There's the jump in. Finally able to get something started. Gonna get some nice corner carry off of this. Sweep to get the hard knockdown. Nice, got the trade. Going for it again. You're gonna jump again. Oh, God, if he did CC. Oh, no. No complete on the combo. And Static Gorilla with the whiff on his crouch D. You can't say adieu. <laughs> I do. Yeah. All right, here we go. Rock needs to put in the work. King is nearly dead, so one confirm can do it, but you have to go in for that. Gotta watch those fireballs. Ooh, wake up throw. Okay, really clean. Mm -hmm. yeah, looking not to overexert here. Can easily close this out and get back all that health he's lost. Here it is right here. Nice confirm. Very, very good. Absolutely. And we're pretty much going to be tied up not only in health resources, but also characters here. Absolutely. Now it's Kukri's turn to come in and put in some work. Yep. We're going to see this Kukri for the first time, actually. Starting off strong, though. There's the EX Tatsu. Full corner carry here. Goes for the reset. Forces them to land into the clones. Oh, my God. From getting tapped on the head right there. Oh, yeah. Looking for some type of button, but Static Gorilla just ending. He is patient. Oh, I love that, though. I love going for the reversal. You saw the teleport. Just let it rip. Yeah, I like that. Just like that, he gets his damage and he backs off. And he forces you to come in. And I think that's such a great way to play. Because, it, you know, it, it induces some anger on your opponent. That's plus. Okay, good. He didn't press a button there. Ooh. I've never seen that interaction in my life, to be honest with you. <laughs> I've seen it, but not with Rock's DP, with other characters. Caught him all the way up in the air. Said, nah, I get set back down. And here we go. Crum, last chance to live here with King. Static Rel is on set point. Three bars. Static Rel just cloning out of there. That's such a good option because you, you get out of the corner, but it also leaves a hitbox there for your opponent. Oh, catches them pressing. Gonna get the reset here as well. Goes for the overhead mix up. Not gonna work. Ooh. CD, get me out of this corner. You know what? Air fireballs are good, but like when your opponent is just not reacting to them, like <laughs> then it's like nothing. Yeah, then you're just kind of tossing them out there. It's just covering screen space at that point. And this should be it here with the confirmed Static Gorilla 2-0. Incredibly clean. Yeah, he's looking good. I'm not sure how late that is in a bracket, but I'm almost positive now at this point Static Gorilla will be qualifying out. Yeah, I, that was very impressive. I would think so. Static Gorilla, incredibly strong player, incredibly strong king as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so he's looking really good. You probably will see him later on. Next up, though, we got, oh, this should be a really good one, too. We got F. Kang again from Brazil going up against Pivotace. Pivotace was, I remember earlier they were playing, I want to say Shizuru, I think it was. I think so, yeah. I think it was Shizuru. So, yeah, this is going to be a good match. Him. Probably another winner's I'm finals Shizuru, pools actually. match, to be honest. Uh, but, yeah, players are coming <sighs> up now. I'm excited. The KOF just keeps going here. And it is not going to stop once we are off as well. We're going to get even more King of Fires action after all of this. So make sure to keep it locked here on TNS. Yeah, absolutely. We got top 48 after this, then top 16, and then top 8 all today, all uh, Saturday here at CEO 2022. So keep it locked for sure. I believe top 8 is what? It's around like... Uh, Six o'clock or six o'clock? Like yeah, I think it's like six yeah. p.m. So. so make sure to tune in to the CEO gaming stream around six o'clock to watch that top eight for King of Fires. It's gonna be crazy. Ooh, you know what? I just thought about it. CEO top eight, the wrestling ring. You yeah. got the entrances. I I cannot wait to see what some of these people choose. If I somehow get top eight, I already know what song I'm having. <laughs> I know what song I'm using. I'm gonna keep it shh for now. Y'all see it? <laughs> Hold on, do it. We gotta try. We gotta try to get there. We gotta try to get. Yeah, there. and I mean, of course, this this year we are going to have games in the arena on Saturday, so we get to have even more entrances for the players. So definitely make sure to check it out. It's gonna be super exciting. Yeah, always a good time. Yep, players are settling down though. I like it. F King looking at his phone, maybe for text, maybe you know, see if he can get the cheat codes on how to beat Pivotes. Let's see. How do I win? How, how to win? Just Google how win. That's it. How win? Just Google that. Uh, how to play King of Fighters. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get the Danny J tutorial first up. Yeah. Shout out to Danny J. 
Right, here we go. Pretty sure he knows how to play KOF though, right? Yeah, you're pretty sure. You wouldn't be this here, far, right? You know? <laughs> he said, he said, I just entered as a joke, man. Yeah, yeah I didn't expect to get this far, you know. <laughs> Shout out to the Frosty Faustings t-shirt as well. Oh, yeah, I love the support. You know, we're here at CEO, but you're seeing merchandise from all over. Combo Breaker, Frosty Faustings, uh, TNS Online. It's like, it's so good, it's so good. Yeah, the FGC is just one big family here. No matter what game you play, no matter what part of the country you're from or what walk of life you come from, fighting games are for everyone. Absolutely. Torpedo said it best, man. Fighting games are great. They're amazing. Hell yeah, absolutely. Here we go. Cronin back again. The menace. Yo, Cronin McNasty. Let's see <laughs> if he gets to play. Two Joes. This could be good. Yeah. The point jump. Oh, right. Yes. Now I remember. Pivot Ace was that insane K Dash from earlier. Yeah, K Dash is an absolutely wild character in this patch. And I mean, putting K Dash, Yuri, and Joe into the hands of a really strong player is kind of terrifying. It is. Absolutely. I mean, you can say that about both these squads, to be honest. Right? Yes, yes. You got a surgeon like Joe with like the precision of like throwing fireballs out and getting those combos, right? The execution. Same with Shizuru. And then Cronin, who's like a literal coin flip. He's like, what do you want to do today? You want to block high or low? Yeah. Or did you jump? In? Oh, you, you want to die? <laughs> Let me radiate this energy. But before we get there, K Dash, Chizuru. And I'm curious how this matchup is going to work out for Chizuru. You know, on paper, it feels like K Dash has a lot of good tools to like shut down the options that she wants to do. If she's trying to throw out clones, even if she decides not to follow through with it, K Dash, I feel like that EX slide could just catch her. Right, EX slide. Even Iron Trigger. I think just him throwing Iron Trigger out in neutral is just a really good option, right? It's stopping her from advancing. Oh, wow. Interesting hit there. Able to knock back down. Kicked all the way up there. Nice conversion off the blowback. That's what I'm talking about. All right, jumping CD in. Running all the way to full screen. Oh, the reflect, but powers right through it. I believe that was one of the recent changes was they gave that EX kick a guard point. Perfect for situations just like that. Absolutely. Oh, nice block. Knew he was trying to go for it. Blocking the slide there. Good awareness there from FKing. Able to close it out relatively quickly, too. Going to get a little bit of health back. Yeah, a little over 50%. Not that Yuri cares, right? She hits really hard. Yeah, Yuri is going to kill you in one touch anyway. Yep. <laughs> she has the meter. She certainly has it. Two bars. Got to get something established, though. Nice punish on the uh, air, right? Yeah, and I really like how FK is being incredibly aggressive here with the clones from Chizuru as well. Not giving Pivotase any room to just throw out those little fireballs like your players like to do constantly. Yeah. And that's the thing, like that fireball, is, it's a stop sign, right? But if you don't advance, it's not really stopping anything. And Yuri's a slippery character, so constantly locking her down like that is incredibly smart. For sure. Oh, I like it. Yep, EX Cho up for a double. At what cost, Yuri took a bit of a beating that round. Stand and here ready. comes Joe. Ready? Go. Oh, the call out. Round start slash kick. Where are you going? Oh, and then baits out the DPE. There's the block. Kicker all the way to the end. And you saw that? He didn't even want to take the second DP. He's, I'm throwing you in between this. We're not, going, we're not letting this clock go any longer. Yeah, no, it's over right now. Now we got the Joe Mir match. No, we got purple player one side, red player two. Lots of tornadoes. Oh, oh run in, tries to catch the roll through. Not quite able to get it, though. Gets some pressure going. Ooh. Nice, going up the air. The air attempt, yeah. Okay, it's going to be good damage. It's three bar Joe, though. Climax does go full screen. There's the roll forward, no punish on it, but there's the quick max confirm. This is gonna hurt. No, oh. drops the confirm, so tragic there. Jobber, please commentate his curse. I know, every time I say they're gonna do a good job, something happens. <laughs> okay, well plus fireball right there, acting as an anti-air tool. But this is looking extremely rough, yeah. At that point, yeah, F. Kang, again, just so content on just sitting back, throwing fireballs, basic zoning 101. And, uh, you know, Pivot Ace Hat was forced to, to take risks there. And yeah. Fortunately, it didn't pay off. Exactly. And F. Kang sitting comfortably now with one win. Just needs one more to move forward and yes. qualify. Round one. Just one more. Let's see if Pivot Ace can make this change, if he can pivot things into his favor. Uh, 
All right, nice 2C as well. Oh! Good blow up right there on the overhead. What a confirm. Okay, we'll get the hit too. Just locking down with pressure. It's so difficult to figure out when you're allowed to press against G0. Just oh based on no. the and there goes K Dash, unfortunate. Yeah, he got the counter hit stand C, and I guess he thought she was still standing, so. Uh, all right, there's a hop in with DP, though. That's going to get punished real bad. Ooh. Oh, jump up. Oh, no, where are you trying to go? And there's the jumping with the JD as well. That might be a dead G0. No, oh. doesn't spend the EXDP. I will, you know, well, it paid off in the end, but you got to be very scared, like, very, very careful there. I, I do not like letting people live no. like that. You gotta go. I, I've seen too many comebacks on stream. Yeah, Shizuru is way too much of a trick character to like let her live, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, throws up the level one fireball. Says my fireball is better than yours, buddy. Very nice punish. Get the jump in. Oh, he tried to go for like a tech roll setup there. That King didn't bite. Everybody's looking really nice though. Yeah, but here's the turnaround from F Kang. This is the thing, you need to lock down Yuri. If you give Yuri room to breathe, she will run wild on you. Nope, Hulkamania style, not gonna get it right there, too slow. Hop CD. Oh, empty hop into low, and that should be a dead Joe. Wow, Pivote's looking so much better now that Yuri actually was able to get rid of Chizuru and have room to breathe. Yeah, but here it is. Cronin McDonald's, <laughs> nice right there, got the DP. Oh, oh. we spinning it all. Mega Buster to the face. You just jump in on somebody and lose 80% of your health. Just lose from one anti-air. He's like, you're advancing? How dare you? And just like that, we are now tied up in the final round here. FK sitting on set point. Mm -hmm. Set point to get out of pools on the winner's side. Two-bar Joe looking to stop this though. Yeah, you gotta be careful with those fireballs. Hop CD from Croning is such a deceptively strong button. It looks like it shouldn't hit, but it does. <laughs> I feel like that that applies to every single one of Cronin's buttons. Yeah, absolutely. There we go, the 6A. Throw out that drill arm. There's the jump in. Oh, front him low. This could be good damage. Oh, he missed. Something there. Yeah, it looked like maybe he was trying to go for a fireball into a reset or something. Yeah, perhaps. Or just a missed input. Oh, you gotta watch those fireballs. Conan's got a gun. Yeah, with those two bars as well. <laughs> you see this fuzzy blocking too? Yeah, the chicken yeah. guard? Uh. Oh! Jumping CD oh, in. Stepping. Stomp on him. Give him the double stomp. Left foot, two, top, two stomps. <laughs> Yo, the electric slide? Hold up. Cha cha, real smooth. Oh, oh this is gonna be see? good. No, that oh. would have been your chance to confirm into a level one. Oh, and there's the gun. You know I keep that thing on me. Oh my god, and unfortunate for Pivotes. After that corner CD, he could have just did slash kick super. Yeah, even going to game three. That's so unfortunate. It's that high stress situation, oh, right? Right at the end of the pool man. there. Not unfortunately. Drops it in the end, not able yeah. to qualify. But congratulations to Brazil moving forward, showing off their strengths. Great King of Fighters block here. Great Ooh. set. And I think that's going to be the end for you and me, Rome. Yeah, this has been a great time, Job. I really enjoyed Absolutely. myself, man. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. That was the end of pools. So I believe next we got coming up top 48. Um, for me, this could potentially be the last time you see me here. <laughs> Depending on how well I do. If I place in top 16, you won't see me. But the homie right here, Jabba, you will see him again. What you gonna be doing later, bro? I'm gonna be commentating top eight for King of Fighters alongside my good friend and mentor, Proxy himself. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. But I wish you the best in your games as well. Thank you. Hopefully we get to see you on stream. Mm -hmm. And you all stick around for some more King of Fighters action.